We all know I take my pastries and my overpriced coffee very, very seriously. Oh my God, I got them. I thought we might as well try her. Why am I talking so slowly? And then they had this bad boy. Volume 10. Good morning. Hi everyone, happy Sunday and welcome back to the weekly vlog. I am absolutely boiling. I'll be honest with you, I've put this on so I could do a little out for the day, but I'm, I'm actually gonna have to take off a second because I'm absolutely sweating. Like I am so hot right now. But yeah, hello, welcome back to the weekly vlog. This week's weekly vlog is gonna be filmed in a slightly different location because I'm at Josh's this week um, dog sitting his dog whilst his parents are away skiing. So that's a little bit of a context if you're used to not me being here in the weekly vlog, does that make any sense? I don't know. But yes, it is Sunday, it's a slightly random day to start the weekly vlog on, but apparently that's what I like to do. I don't know why I always seem to do that, but I do. But yeah, Josh and I are about to pop out. We're gonna go to a farm shop, get a coffee, maybe get some pastries, have a look and see if there's anything you want from the farm shop. And um, basically just have like a really cozy, wholesome, countrysidey Sunday basically. Because when we get back from the farm shop, we're then gonna take Luna for a walk. And then my plan of the afternoon is to just like light a fire, have a cozy afternoon. I'm reading a book at the moment that I've nearly finished. I kind of want to like sit curled up on the sofa, read that for an hour this afternoon, get that finished so I can start a new one. Maybe watch a film, have a really lovely, delicious like roast chicken. That is basically today's plan. I feel like I'm already rambling. I promise I do have shorts on it. Obviously I'm wearing my boohoo little boxer shorts because I wear them all the time. And then I've just got one of the Primark um, like viral knit jumpers on because if I'm wearing a jumper, it's normally one of these in one of the four colors that I have in because I literally love it. And then I'm just wearing with it my boohoo coat and this scarf from Primark, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a little bit like overstimulated with a scarf on and my hair down. Like I just feel like there's quite a lot going on there, but I don't know, I'm just gonna wear that. And then I'm gonna put on my like platformy Ugg things. And I've also got these new socks, which I'm obsessed with. I don't know how well you can see them, but they say like Ugg on the back of them. So like that peeks out the top. Um, with the shoes and then I'm just chucking this bag on my like Ugg X Telfar bag. It's very brownie, it's very Ugg themed but that is the outfit of the day. Josh is just getting changed now and then we're gonna head out. I also actually need to just pop on a little bit of perfume. I'm gonna put on Jo Malone with Sage and Sea Salt. This is like potentially my favourite perfume. It's just like so clean and fresh and I literally love it. And it's gonna be the perfume I'm wearing all week because I only decided to bring one with me. Like I do not need to bring my whole perfume collection with me to Josh's. So I've just brought that one so that'll be um, the perfume for this week. So yeah, that is today's plan and then obviously like throughout the week I will take you along with me. I'm literally growing like an inch taller now that I'm putting these on because they're the platform ones. So now this angle might not be the best because I'm going to be a bit taller but anyway I'm going to start rambling. We're going to get in the car, go to the farm shop. I'll probably see you when I'm there. Let me see if I can do like a little fine lines. Oh you can't really see. I was going to try and show you the shoes. Show a little fine lines out for the day but I also don't have my bag and I don't think you can see that. Right okay let's get going. I'll see you in a bit. We're in the farm shop. Look at how cute. I love these juices over here as well, but this one looks so nice, but I think I'm gonna get a coffee today. I've been wanting to try this cereal for ages, but I don't know which flavors here. They've got banoffee pie, banoffee and caramel flavored with banana chips and white chocolate chips. Cherry Bakewell, not a bit of me. Vanilla latte, which is coffee and vanilla flavored oat custards with white chocolate chips, or Victoria sponge, which is vanilla and strawberry flavor. I'm gonna get one of them, I just don't know which one yet. Okay, we have been to the coffee, no, I was gonna say coffee shop. It's because I was gonna say I've got my coffee. We've been to the farm shop. Um, I have my coffee, I got, I went with this one in the end because there wasn't many left. So I took that as a sign that this is a good one. Vanilla latte. Did I just spend 6.95 on a box of cereal? Yes, I did. So I hope this is good. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. I saw on the back, it's got a little thingy. So I'm really excited to try that. And then I did get um, like a little morning bun thing. It was kind of giving Crofin vibes and we all know my love for a craft and we know my love for pastry anyway. Um, it's like, I'll show you it. Cause I probably, I'll probably wait till we get home to eat it. So I'll show you it at some point. Um, but it's like covered in like sugar and it's got like vanilla filled in and it looks absolutely delicious. So that was lovely. And also um, one of my friends from school's parents own that farm shop. So it's really lovely to have a catch up with her parents. That was lovely. So lovely start to the day. Um, look at this. It's quite nice weather as well actually. It's forecast to be cloudy, but there's actually a bit of blue sky. So I'm a happy girly. I'm gonna drink my coffee and have my pastries just sort of update you on what I got. And then, oh, bumpy bumpy, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> This is her. This is what I was trying to explain, my little morning bun thingy. I don't think it is actually like a full-on crafting, but it was giving those kind of vibes. I don't really care. It's gonna be buttery, delicious, vanilla-y, everything that this girl loves. It's basically like a vanilla cinnamon bun. So rather than having loads of cinnamon in it, it's like the bun of a cinnamon bun, but not cinnamony. Does that make sense? 
Hello, we are now home. I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then, I don't know why I've got my sunglasses on inside, but I do, and I'm gonna keep them on. Um, I'm just gonna finish my coffee. Actually, no, I'm not gonna keep them on because I feel like an idiot. I feel like the lighting looks really weird though if I don't have them on. Okay, anyway, I'm just gonna finish my coffee and then we're gonna go, I need to change my coat and then we're gonna go for a little dog walk, but I thought we might as well try her. Let's see if she is worth the 6.95. Let's not talk about it. Mum, if you're watching, don't kill me, okay? Um, it says, try with the milk of your choice or as a cheeky nibble on the go. Which I feel like is probably how I'm gonna eat it, like as a little snack. Like, it does say chunky snackable granola on it here. I feel like that's probably how I'm gonna eat it because I just feel like putting this in a big bowl with some milk is just like gonna ruin it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if I have a little cluster every now and then, I feel that's a little bit more socially acceptable. Oh, wow. I mean, they're giant clusters. They're so much bigger than I was expecting. Mm, smell a little bit like, um, like something you feed your horse. They just smell like cardboard. Let's see. Oh wow, they've got massive chocolate buttons. And I thought they'd be like little chocolate chips, but that's like a whole button. Let's see. It's okay. Would I pay six ninety five for it again? No, probably not. I don't know. I feel like it maybe needs a bit of milk because it's it's not dry. But I think it would be nice with milk. But I have just noticed it says vegan, gluten free, nut free, and dairy free. So it does get bonus points for that, even though I am none of them. It is quite nice, but I don't think it's six ninety five nice. Although I still do kind of want to try the other flavors. Anyway, right. So I'm gonna finish my coffee, get changed, and then we should go for a dog walk. Oh, we also popped to Tesco um whilst we're out so i'll do a little tesco like food shop haul as well for the week once we get back but um i'm rambling let's go on this walk i'll see you there We are back home. I said I was going to do a little Tesco food haul because we popped to Tesco this morning and then also had a Tesco um, delivery come yesterday and I just thought we could do like a little weekly food shop haul and show you like talk you through the dinners for the week as well. So I'm just going to get everything out. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to care. We all know I love doing a little food shop haul in the weekly vlog so I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, first of all, we have the fun stuff. Look at these chocolate flavoured cornflakes. They're new. I saw them on, I don't know if they're limited edition or... What? It doesn't sound them that they are, but I saw these on one of those like Instagram food accounts. I'm literally obsessed with those things and I really wanted to try them. They were also on club cards, so I thought now would be a good time. And also, obviously, I have my um, fancy cereal over here, but this is more like going to be a special occasion, maybe like snacking thing, like I said. This can be my normal like, have a big bowl of it with some milk. Got two cans of cream soda, but I did have one of them yesterday because I literally love cream soda. I'm not really a fizzy drink kind of person, not a big fan of Coke, only really drink water other than like coffee and everything. But if I'm having a drink at home, it will normally be water, but I am partial to a nice crisp cold cream soda. So I had one last night, I'll probably have that one tonight. Got these, so excited about these. Again, these are on Club Card and I love these, um, like Cadbury dessert things and they've come out with mini egg ones and you can get a whole pack of them. I think those are literally like £2.50 which I do not feel like is bad. Josh had one last night which is why they're open but got some mini egg um, Cadbury desserts and then I wanted something like cakey. These are my like evening sweet snack and then I normally like to have something in the afternoon like some cake or something but I wasn't really fancying anything in the bakery section but I fancied these. I never have, I don't think I've ever had these before. I've never fancied them before in my life but I went with some milk chocolate malted milks. Random but that can be like my little afternoon snack and I also got some cream to go with my hot chocolates because I just I love a little bit of whippy cream on a hot chocolate but I've never had this one before. I didn't really want a light one. Oh I, for a second I thought I was gonna say it was vegan and then I was not gonna be happy but they didn't have any like normal whipped cream. I swear Tesco normally have their own brand stuff but they didn't have any. It was either this or a really fancy expensive French one that I didn't really care for so got that. Got some sour cream Pringles and I got some more of my Kefi because I actually love this. I got it in I want to say last week's week before I can't quite remember but it's on offer in Waitrose and Tesco at the moment. Um, it's just the mango and passion fruit Yo Valley one and I really like it and it's good for your gut and everything. Got some double cream because we're going to have like a garlic butter prawn pasta dish um, at some point in the week and the prawns are in the freezer. Um, got some bananas, got sour cream because we had tacos last night. These are the taco shells. We also got some mints and lettuce and stuff but obviously that's already been eaten. And then tonight we're having a Thai roast chicken type dish. I actually love it. It's one of my favourites. I don't know if I've ever actually cooked it before though, because normally mum does, but we've got the chicken for that, some orange tubes and green beans to go with it, lemongrass, you 
very nice. I don't know how to word it nicely, but you know, like put in the chicken and then you put like um, Chinese fire spice on the skin. I'll probably show you me making it later, but it's really good. So we're gonna have that tonight with some rice. And then we've got sausages to have sausage, chips and sketty hoops for dinner one night, which is such a childish dinner, but it is so good. I had it um, the other night when, um, like a couple of weeks ago, when we just wanted a really quick and easy dinner and it was actually so good. And I've kind of been craving it since. So that's just gonna be an easy dinner one night. And then I think we are also gonna do, again, like a roast chicken or like chicken thighs and do like a Nando's kind of dinner with like peri-peri chips, salad, garlic bread, and then like peri-peri chicken. But we're gonna get the stuff for that later on in the week because we won't have that till Wednesday. So that is it. That is the food shop. So tacos last night, this tonight, and then prawns Monday or Tuesday sausages whichever day we don't have the prawns nando's chicken wednesday and then josh's parents are back so that is the kind of weekly food shop slash meal plan that we could go through it i'm not going to put this all back away now what even is the time it's five to one so i'll probably have some lunch i think i might have some gnocchi because i kind of fancy that with maybe some green pesto and then i will see you in a bit I am having the loveliest, coziest, chilled Sunday afternoon. I was about to say Saturday then, uh, Sunday afternoon. I'm reading my book, which is the only thing I don't love about the Kindle is, um, like I'm a Kindle girly through and through. I kind of prefer these to an actual book. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the smell of a new book. Like I'm literally obsessed with them, but this is just so easy to hold. Like I can do it with one hand. I can literally change pages with one hand. I'm a big advocate for the Kindle. And also like books on here are cheaper. Like everything I love about it, other than the fact that um, you don't ever get like the front cover of a book. So when people are like, oh, what are you reading? Half the time I can't remember the name. Like, don't get me wrong. I could just be like, literally all you have to do is tap the screen and it comes up with the book name. But for this, I kind of want to be able to show you the cover, but I'm reading a book called the horse dancer wait let me just save my page so i don't lose it and then i can show you the front cover it's by um jojo jo moyes and i absolutely love her books and i had no idea what this book was about when i started reading it but i'm actually kind of loving it i've got eight percent left so i've got less than an hour left and i'm nearly done with it but i'm actually really enjoying it. it has been making me feel a bit emotional though because it's about like a horse and like I'm not really a horsey person. I feel like you're either a horse person or you're not, and I'm not really a horse person. Um, and like I said, I didn't know what the book was about before I started reading it, but I actually really have enjoyed it. Like, I definitely would recommend it. Why? What am I trying to do? Show you the cover. Um, so yeah, that is the book I'm reading at the moment. I'm about to finish it. Like I said, I'm gonna, I think I'll finish reading the book and then I'm gonna make a start on dinner because um, the chicken's gonna take like a couple of hours to cook. Where has it gone? Now I've just lost the whole book. Here we go. This is the cover. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. And like, I am quite a big reader. Like I read a lot. Like I always read every single night before I go to bed and I find like, I literally can fall asleep straight away. Like I have no trouble with sleeping. And I think that's partly because I read quite a lot. Um, but I feel like I never talk about it. Like I don't really often talk about reading or like the books that I'm reading, but um, I feel like more people are starting, um, how many times am I gonna say reading in this sentence? I feel like a lot of people are starting to get more and more into reading. So I thought maybe in my weekly vlogs I'll speak to you about the books I'm reading. Not all the time, I'm not going to turn into a bloody book club, I'm not Rich and Judy, but like, if I'm reading a good book or you have a recommendation, I thought I'd update you on it. And that is the one I'm reading at the moment. So I'm just going to spend, like, how long does it say I've got left? 41 minutes reading this book, then I'm going to make a start in dinner, and then I can start a new book tonight, which I, I love a new book. Although, I say I love a new book, I actually kind of don't, because I always find when I've started reading a new book, no, that's not what I was about to say. When I finish reading a book I love, I then don't want to start a new book because I'm like, I really enjoyed that last one. What if this one's not as good? And obviously like the first bit of the book isn't great because you've kind of got to get into the storyline. I love it when you're like halfway through a book and it's a really good book and you just want to keep reading it. That is the best point. Anyway, I'm rambling and I said I wasn't going to turn into a book club, so I am going to shut up now. Um, but I thought I'd update you. <laughs> that is what I'm doing and that's what I'm reading at the moment. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to read my book, get this finished and I will, I think we could cook dinner together because I this meal I'm cooking for dinner, I really enjoy um, and I've not cooked it with you before. So let's cook dinner together in a little bit. But for now, like I've said about 500 times, <laughs> I'm going to read my book. The book is finished. I realised I didn't actually give you like any like um, context as to what it was about. I just said it's a really good book, but I get scared to explain it in case I ruin it. So I just thought I'd quickly read the blurb in case anybody cared about the book and then we can move on to uh, making a start on dinner, which is what I'm about to do. But it basically says, in the hidden corner of London, Henry LaChapelle is teaching his granddaughter and her horse to defy gravity. Actually, do you know what? I can't be asked to read the whole thing. It's not even that long, but this is the blurb there in case anyone is intrigued you can obviously pause it and read it but i would strongly recommend it i literally love it um 
Jojo Moyes is the woman that wrote um, Me Before You. If you've seen that film or read that book, it's an incredible book if you haven't. Um, fun fact, I actually like kind of know her. She used to live down the road from me and was kind of like a family friend. Um, so that's fun. But yeah, that was actually a really good book. I would strongly recommend it. And now I'm going to make the um, Thai roast chicken thingy. It's basically like um, a whole chicken. Um, it's a bit like a Thai green curry, but kind of not because you've got like a whole chicken and then it's got like this coconut gravy. Normally at home I have it with um, either like pak choy and sweet corn, but today we're having um, green beans and munch too, like I said. I do actually have a picture of the recipe. So this is it, if anybody cares. Again, you can obviously just pause the screen. It's oriental roast chicken with coconut gravy. It's this one in the middle here. I don't know if you can see that. If you can't see that, I'll insert it um, on the screen here. Because like I said, like my mum has this notebook that she prints out recipes for like cuts out of like food magazines and sticks it in and we've had it for years and like she's just kind of built on it and that's where that's from so i don't originally know the recipe i've got no idea where it came from but it's actually really quick and easy and it's so delicious so i'm gonna make that now kind of do like a little cooked dinner with me type thing but i'm also gonna try and film a tiktok on it at the same time so i don't know how i'm gonna do both um and then maybe this evening we'll watch a film i don't know I've already made a slight error in the fact that I forgot to put limes on the shopping list. Uh, so we're going to have to use lemons instead, which I don't know. I mean, it's a similar fruit. I think I might be able to get away with it. It might change the taste slightly, but I stupidly forgot to not only add them to the Tesco order, but also we could have picked them up today and we didn't. But let's just move on from that, okay? I just need to basically cook some rice and the veg like later. The chicken's gonna take literally two hours. And then the sauce that goes with it is literally just like the chicken juices, um, some Thai red curry paste and coconut cream. It's so delicious, honestly. I'll show you dinner once it's done. Um, and yeah, we're now lighting a fire. You literally can't hear anything. Why am I crumpling paper whilst I'm trying to talk to you? We're just lighting the fire now. Josh is about to watch Arsenal because they're playing in a minute. And I'm either gonna start a new book or watch a film, I think. I don't really know which, I haven't yet decided, but I'm excited to like, Lie down on the sofa, have a nice chilled Sunday evening with the fire lit. Good food in my stomach. I literally cannot wait. Two cups. Can you come and open this for me, please? We are slightly improvising today because we're using green Thai curry paste instead of red Thai curry paste and lemons instead of limes. Um, I mean, I'm sure it'll be okay, but. Dinner okay. is now ready. And I was gonna do like a dish up dinner with me on TikTok because I see this woman called Maria from Liverpool. She does them all the time and I'm literally obsessed with her because they're like so realistic and funny. If you've never watched her, I don't actually know other, then Maria, what um, her name is, but like she always does like dish up dinner and she often has like Nando's and like fun takeaways for dinner. Anyway, she made me want to do a dish up dinner with me, but the lighting's really unflattering and horrendous. So I'm just going to do it in the weekly vlog instead. So first up, we have some jasmine rice. I'm going to do it in bowls. I much prefer eating out of bowls like this than plates. I don't, don't know if I'm the only one. Um, so I'm going to do some rice. I've already got Josh to carve up the chicken because I didn't really know what I was doing with that. Also feels a little bit of like a blue pizza moment. Like here's one I prepared earlier. And then, the, oh God, the chicken. This looks so good, this chicken. Like I don't want to take my own horn, but it looks so good. And then we've just got the monster and green beans in here, which we put a little bit of butter on. I don't know why I said it like that, a little bit. Bit of butter on. And then this is the kind of gravy that you just sort of pour on top of it. I mean, we have got a lot of gravy but it is so good. It doesn't look the most appealing. I've not really done a master chef job of plating it up, but I will just quickly show you. This is what it looks like. I mean, not the most appealing, like appetizing looking, but trust me, this is such a good dinner. Like it is delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna go and eat my dinner now and I'll see you when I see you. I got these marshmallows for my birthday. They're from the Chop Chop Shop in Bath that I absolutely love and they are so good. They're like homemade giant vanilla marshmallows. I have had some. This one here is missing. It doesn't really look like it, but 
I bought these over because I thought these would be nice for like hot chocolates and stuff because obviously I got the whipped cream earlier but then I've just suddenly thought why don't I toast them on the fire because I normally do that at home anyway and also we've got these so I thought I could have some toasted marshmallows which is so up my street do you know oh my god do you know what I've just thought of I could have them with the malted milk like chocolate biscuits I got earlier and I could make like a s'mores type thing of these oh my god I'm so gonna do that that is happening right now Good morning! Happy Monday everybody! I am feeling fine and dandy on this fine Monday morning. I've actually woken up in a really good mood today. It looks like it's going to be a really nice day as well. Like There's some blue skies and sunshine which we all know makes me happy. It puts a smile on my face. I'm feeling good. I've got this Zara tracksuit on today. We all know I'm not really a tracksuit girly but there's something about these bomber wide leg trouser heel tracksuits that has me in some form of chokehold and I love this one from Zara. I got it in the sale. This bomber jacket was literally like $5.99 I think rather than I want to say $29.99 maybe and then the joggers I got for like $7.99. An absolute bargain. Anyway, I thought what better way to start this Monday off than by trying the chocolate cornflakes that I got yesterday. I love me a new food. I'm a sucker for brands releasing new things and trying them. And I'm quite excited for this because I often have like cornflakes slash frosties. No one cares. No one actually cares about this. I was going to say I normally have cornflakes slash frosties for breakfast most mornings or like crunchy nut, like some form of a cornflake. I normally have for breakfast most mornings with banana. So I was going to say I'm excited to try the chocolate version, but that is such a boring sentence. But yeah, I thought we could start the day off with this. I want to pop to m &S today. I've got like little bits of editing to do. I've not got loads and loads to do today though, because a lot of my work for this week, I just got done last week. So I'm pretty on top of things. I just got editing to do really, which is pretty chilled. So yes, we're obviously going to spend the day together because I'm weekly vlogging, but we're going to start the day off with this. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but I actually am. They look like those, um, you know at Easter when you make the little chocolate cornflake cakes and stuff and you put the mini eggs in and they're absolutely delicious. These look like that. Like they're not even fully covered in chocolate. I don't know if you can see that. But, like they're not fully coated. Like some of them you can see like the cornflake colour through it if that makes sense. And I just feel like it looks like those cornflake cakes when you're in the process of mixing the chocolate and cutting them in chocolate. This is what they look like. I'm kind of hoping they're going to taste like that. Oh my god, imagine adding like some mini eggs into this cereal. That would be delicious. So I'm healthy and like not very breakfasty, but imagine that. I'm hoping these are going to taste like those cornflake cakes because if I could start my day off with a little cornflake cake but class it as breakfast because it's in a cereal box so I wouldn't get judgment from society, then I would be a happy girly. Okay, taste test time. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to move you back this way because I feel like the lighting is really unflattering now. Anyway. These taste exactly like that. Like imagine you're making the cornflake cakes and then you decide, oh, I'm, I've got a bit left over and I'm not gonna make it into a cornflake cake. I'm gonna have it for breakfast tomorrow cereal. That is exactly what they taste like. It's kind of like Cocoa Pops, but cornflakes, but like a chocolate cornflake cake with milk on. That's literally what it tastes like. I'm quite a big fan actually. Anyway, it is now 8.36, Josh has just left for work. I'm gonna have my breakfast and do a little bit of editing and stuff for a bit. And then I think I'm gonna pop to m &S. I think I'll go about nine, between like nine and 10 to m and there's no point going now because I don't need to go in rush hour traffic, so why would I? But I kind of just want to like go to MS this morning, then I can be home for the rest of the day. So I think, um, yeah, I'm going to have my breakfast, do a bit of editing, then we can go to MS. Hello, okay, we are in the car, obviously, as you can tell, we're just going to go to MS. Um, I don't really know where I'm going because um, I've never been to this MS before. I've driven past it, like, when Josh has been driving, um, we've driven past it, but I've never actually driven there myself, so I don't actually know where I'm going. So I'm going to need my phone, which we're currently resting on, so I can't film me going there, but we're going to MS. I don't actually need anything, I just fancy going, because obviously, like, we went to Tesco yesterday and we had the Tesco delivery. For the first time ever, I've got a fob for Josh's house for the gate, which just feels so fun because I've never had one of these before. Normally, I have to get out and put the gate coding which really is first world problems it's not that big of a deal but having a little key fob is very fun um so yeah i just want to kind of see i've seen they've got like white strawberries in which i've tried to get for many a year from MS, but every time i've gone they've never had them but apparently they're back in stock so i'm hoping i'll manage to get them um 
I'm just gonna have a look at what they've got. I thought like I might as well. There's an M&S not far from Josh's. Um, so I thought I might as well go and have a look and see what they've got. So yes, I'm gonna drive there now. I just need to put it in my map. So I'm just gonna stop here at the end of the drive and do that. And then I shall see you. Oh, I can't reach. <laughs> I will see you at M&S. Having road to Marks and Spencer. We've made it. I'm literally in potentially the best parking space ever. I've literally managed to get a parking space right outside. And there's also an Audi next door, which I might also pop into. I love the juxtaposition between high end supermarket and a little bit lower end budget friendly, but don't get me wrong. I do love an Audi, so I might pop in there as well. But I'm gonna start an MLS. I've never been to this one before, um, but I've got a good feeling about it. I've got high hopes for it. Look at all the Valentine's Day stuff. How cute, they've got like tiny little Connie the Caterpillars and Colin the Caterpillars. They're like smaller than normal, they're shorter. Even though I swear they're like the same price. They're not that much cheaper, but they are so cute. They've also got cheeky chocolates. Oh, this is cute. If you had a sausage dog, that would be so cute. And I'm also quite tempted by this, but it's tiny. Love you very much. A sweet mix of chocolate coated nuts, popcorn and pretzels. That is a bit of me though. I do love that kind of thing. Okay, first up, let's see if they have the white strawberries I'm looking for. I'm not feeling too positive because like I said, I've looked for them for ages. They do have these grapes though. I love the cotton candy ones. I've never tried the tutti frutti ones. And I swear they also have mango ones, but they don't seem to have them. Are they gonna have the strawberries though? It's a no. Why can I never find them? That's so annoying. They definitely don't have them because they would be here if they did, I think. But all these strawberries are red, which is not what I want today. Oh my God. Look at that milk and cookies chocolate spread. That sounds delicious. And also this I've heard is meant to be like the inside of a Kinder Bueno, which sounds delicious. I would literally just eat that out of the tub like that. And then whilst we're in the spread department, I've also seen this which I'm intrigued by. I don't really like peanut butter. Like I'll eat it, but like in like a bake or something, but I wouldn't have it on toast, but banana maple peanut butter, that sounds so nice. My brother is a lover of peanut butter and banana. So I feel like he would love that. Not that any of you really care about that, but there's a fun fact about my sibling. This is what I mean by like, I don't like peanut butter, but I've had these before and these are really nice. Like I love Snickers and stuff, but I'm just not like, I wouldn't ever have peanut butter on toast or anything. I'm also intrigued by these dippy egg mini whips. I've had the normal mini whips before and they're really nice. They look so good. And they've also got um, coffee hot crust bun bites. I'm not really a hot, I'm like, the what? I was gonna say hot chocolate lover. I'm not really a hot crust bun lover, but I'm actually so intrigued by them. I think I might get them. I love this packaging for some reason. Like it's fully recycled and it's like, I don't know why it's like papery and ASMR on it. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. These are so good. These are one of my favorite things from M&S. They're like cinnamony, like puff pastry buttery. They are so Moorish and they are so delicious. Also look at these, milk chocolate coated bourbons and milk chocolate coated custard creams. Are you more of a custard cream person or a bourbon? I don't actually love either of them. Like they're okay, but I wouldn't really pick them, but I'm actually quite intrigued by them now. They've got like chocolate on them. These look so good. If I could get it out, I would show you um, the cookie dunker. Here we go. I've got both out now. I didn't mean to do that. Malted milk and chocolate chunk, half coated in milk chocolate. How nice do they look for like a cup of tea or something? I'm not even a cup of tea girly. I absolutely hate a cup of tea. The smell of it makes me feel unwell, but I bet they'd be so good for that. Okay, we've come to the best section. We've got Valentine's and we've also got Easter. Oh my God, they've got little like Colin the Caterpillar mallow whip things. These are so heavy. They've also got this, which I've got my Lululemon belt bag with me today. And this is giving those vibes. It's like a little bum bag egg hunt pouch thing. <laughs> Maybe I should get that one. Maybe I shouldn't be walking around with my Lulu one anymore. Maybe I should just be wearing this one or the Percy Pig one. These look so good. Giant speckled egg bar. I remember Audi came out with a dupe of that last year actually. So I wonder if they've got any of them in because also, Unless I've got these and I've seen on Instagram that Aldi have come out with something similar. So I'll go and have a look at Aldi in a minute and see if they've got anything like this. I also really, really want to try this. Giant whippy dippy bar. That's like those bites that I saw a minute ago, but in like a giant bar, which looks delicious. But do I want to spend five pound on it? Not really, if I'm being brutally honest with you. Oh my God, this is just like the Valentine's one, but bigger. How cute is the tin as well? Oh my God. Jelly fried eggs, jelly carrots, white chocolate and raspberry popcorn, milk chocolate pretzels and more. That is a bit of me. Do I spend nine pound on that? Probably shouldn't, seeing as I bought my expensive cereal, but I think she's going in the trolley look at this for valentine's day puppy love a lovable mix of fruit flavor jelly dogs and they've got all these different dogs on like different breeds frankie the frenchie dougal don't know the breed curly i'm guessing this looks like a cockapoo 
Maggie looks a bit like a Labrador. Costas looks like a pit bull and Walter looks like a sausage dog. I'm kind of glad they don't have a golden retriever or one called Billy or Reggie because I probably would have ended up buying that if they did. I don't know what it is about M&S but apparently they love these whip things. These are peachy whips. I can't imagine that being very nice though. Peach and raspberry flavour sauce. I don't think that's a bit of me but £2.50, that's a bargain. To be fair, this one's £5.50 and it's tiny and this one's £9 and it's so much bigger. So. I feel like I made the right decision because also the contents of this is a lot nicer than this and also this tin is so cute. Like once I finish with it, I can make little like chocolate cornflake cakes and stuff at Easter and use this as like a little Tupperware. That's how I'm trying to justify this purchase. That is the girl ma. What on earth is this? Shucks, you're amazing. This is part of the Valentine's Day thing, but that's not very cute. Like why do I want a chocolate oyster? I mean, it is pistachio filled, which is a bit of me, but that just doesn't scream romance to me. That screams like weird fishy, kind of gross. These are so cute for Valentine's Day. They're like little Colin the Caterpillar gummies, but I think it's like, is this Connie? Yeah, oh yeah, Colin and Connie together and they've got like a little love heart between them. How cute. I've just seen these. They've got little love struck Colin the Caterpillars for Valentine's Day, with little love hearts on. They are so flipping cute. The m &S bakery section just does something to me. Like these yum nuts over here are my literal favorite. Just these ones, the plain Jane ones. It's just like an original glaze. Oh my God, I've never seen these ones before birthday yum that with sprinkles on oh god that's tempting these are so cute but i really do not like bao buns i really don't like the texture of them and these are also filled with mushrooms which is one of my least favorite foods in the world but look at how cute it's a little panda bao bun that is adorable this pie is so good and it's reduced and i'm kind of tempted it's like chili con carne in a pie and then it's got like cheesy nachos on top it sounds a little bit weird but oh my god it is honestly so good i don't like almond but if i did i would so get these these look delicious almond and hazelnut croissants I love these frozen croissant things, they're so handy. We've also got um, frozen cookies, but like four pound. I'd rather just buy the fresh, you know, like already cooked ones for that. I've never seen this before. They've got kefir frozen yogurt, and I love this frozen yogurt from MS, it's so good. But they've now got a kefir version, which I'm actually really intrigued to try because apparently I'm in my kefir era, and I absolutely love it at the moment. I also really want to get this pistachio ice cream that is so a bit of me. Oh my god, they look insane as well. Look at how cute. It's a little individual mini little Colin the Caterpillar that you can just come and grab as like a little snack. That is so me. I'm really intrigued by this shape pasta. Messicani, I've never seen it before. It's such a weird shape, but I just love trying different shapes of pasta. I'm very much a strong believer in like, the shape of pasta changes the kind of flavor of the dish in a way. I don't know if anybody else agrees with me on that, but I do kind of believe in that. So I wonder what that would taste like. Like, would that be a tomato sauce kind of pasta or would it be a creamy pasta kind of vibe, you know? Okay, I think we're done. These are the purchases. I'm also gonna grab, oh, they're just over here these beef burger spring rolls because I've been wanting to try these for ages. This is where the little chocolate golden retriever should be but they don't have him. Obviously he's quite popular. They've got Charlie the chocolate Labrador, but they also have a golden retriever one, which is like blonde, you know, like the blonde caramel, like white chocolate, but they don't have him. He's meant to be here. He's meant to be the blonde one, but clearly golden retrievers are just a superior dog and they've sold out. But they do have these, which are like the Cadbury egg and spoons, which have been discontinued. So if anybody is sad about the fact that Cadbury have discontinued them, Audi do have um, an alternative. They've got a dupe. Cookies and cream and the normal one. We love that from you, Audi. Audi also have these, which are another like M&S dupe, the Bake at Home chocolate chip cookies. And these ones are only 149. They're normally 199, but they reduced them. So I think I'm gonna get them because I wanted to try them for a while. They're just chocolate chip cookies. They're like the ones in um, Sainsbury's, not Sainsbury's. Why did I just say Sainsbury's? Like the ones in M&S I wanted that I couldn't justify the price of. So I'm gonna get these and we can try them later. I quickly popped back into M&S because I forgot to pick this up. They've been out for ages and I just have never tried them. They're, they're like coffees in a can, which seems so rogue to me. And like, I know Costa do um, some coffees in a can, like in the supermarkets, but I've never tried one. This lighting's horrendous. So if the steering wheel wasn't in the way, that'd be like the most perfect height. Um, I just got the normal classic latte when they had this and an Americano, but I'm a coffee with milk kind of girly. The sun's gone in again. So can I quickly try this before the lighting goes bad? 
There's also a Costa drive through here, which I was tempted by, but I just really don't like Costa. Like, I just don't think it's that good. Like, sometimes when they bring out a new drink, um, I'll go there to try it. Like, the hot milkshakes, but there's no way I'm trying them because I've heard people on TikTok say they taste like phlegm or, like, the texture's like phlegm, so I'm not wasting my money on that. Um, if it was a Starbucks drive through best believe we'd be driving through that right now and we'd be getting a Starbucks, but it's not. It's a Costa, and I just, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Costa coffee. It's also got a ridiculous amount of caffeine in. Like, my mum and I can't drink Costa coffee in, like, unless we basically don't want to sleep all night because the caffeine just keeps me awake and josh thinks i'm mental and it's all psychological but um my mum was reading this magazine a few weeks ago and in it it like compared the amount of caffeine in various different coffee shops and costa has like triple the amount of caffeine that other coffee shops has like it's actually crazy so we're not going to be going through the costa drive through i am going to try this but i'm waiting for the lighting to be good i'm just going to wait for the sun to go back behind a cloud then we can try her okay i've had to put you here wait if i put my there we go maybe if i put my little screen down no the lighting's horrendous okay we've had to move you here which i know is not the best setup but otherwise i'm just never gonna get this tried and we're never gonna go home this just seems so rude to me to be drinking coffee out of can like that noise i feel like i should be drinking something fizzy when that noise happens i don't feel like i should be drinking coffee it's okay but it's very very milky like i just felt felt like i was drinking milk there there wasn't really any coffee taste to it so if you're not a big fan of like a strong coffee this would be pretty perfect for you because it is a very very milky latte like the color of it is really pale i don't know if you can see it let me just turn you around the coffee is like a really pale color can you kind of see it there like normally my coffee is darker than that so i feel like you can kind of tell from the color that it's really really milky it's okay i'm gonna drink it but like that is literally so milky anyway right we have finally tried that i've been trying for about 10 minutes now i'm gonna head home and the rest of the like ms stuff and well the audi stuff you already know what i bought and it's literally here but the rest of the ms stuff is in the boot so i will give you a little haul when i am home then turn left onto Orchard Road. Nobody. What kind of fucker is this? Okay, time for an MS haul. I didn't end up getting loads because they didn't have, like, there just wasn't really loads that I fancy, but I've got a couple of bits. First up, obviously, the coffee, which is so milky and so rank. Like, I drank a little bit more of it on the way home, and it is literally just pure milk. I don't know if maybe I need to stir it. I didn't shake it. Let me just see. Does it say... It doesn't say anything about shaking it before you drink it. I just don't know if maybe, like, all the coffee settled on the bottom. So I might get a straw and mix it in a little bit. Um, anyway, then I got the Juicy Beef Burger Spring Rolls. I wanted to try these for the longest time, but... They've got gherkins in them and I really don't like pickles, but they had them reduced. So I thought now would be the best time to get them whilst they're on offer. But they're spring rolls with British beef, gherkins and caramelized onions with a burger sauce for Dunkin. So I just thought these were fun. I could kind of cross between Chinese food and like American, I suppose. So we can try them later when I have lunch. I'm kind of peckish now, but it's only 11. So I don't really fancy eating them right now, but I kind of want something, but anyway. And then I've got the Chocky Hot Crust Bun Bites because I just thought these would be nice to try. They're chocolate coated fudge with a light and tasty hot crust bun spice. I don't mind, oh, spice fudge with raisins and orange flavoured jelly coated in milk chocolate. Mm. I don't mind a hot crust bun, but they're not like my favourite thing on earth. So why did I buy these? I don't know. I just got intrigued. Maybe I should have got the dippy, whippy egg things. They probably would have been a bit better i just thought these were a little bit different and like i was intrigued to try them i don't know and then i also got the original scrummy bunny munch from the easter section i am so excited about this this looks incredible also like i said the tin is so cute so i definitely will be reusing the tin but like i'll just show you the pictures on the front look at how nice they look i think these are the eggs carrots jelly things oh sounds delicious i can't wait for that and then i also got this which is the MS Food X Zoe Gut Shot because I keep seeing this on Instagram and I really want to try it. And like, there's loads of advertisement for it in MS at the moment. But I think this is just a very overpriced kefir. I think this was, let me just check my receipt. It was £2, okay? £2 for this and it's tiny. And my bottle of kefir that I got from Tesco, which is this much bigger. Granted, this was an offer, but this was £1.50. I think it's normally like £2.50, £3 on offer. But look at the difference in size. I don't know if this one's maybe stronger or something because this is obviously a shot, like a juice shot, whereas this is more like a yogurt drink. I don't really know because on the back it just says it's got kefir and milk mixed 
fruit puree, apple, strawberry, banana, black currant, blueberry. So I don't know if this is actually any much better than this and whether I've just been conned, but I bought it anyway. And then of course, I obviously just got the um, frozen cookies from M&S, not from M&S, from Aldi. These are gluten free as well, I've just seen. So that's fun. If you're um, celiac or anything, there's a little fun fact. I need to pop these in the freezer. Um, but I thought we can maybe have them like either this afternoon or Josh and I could have them for dessert or something later and we can try them. I want to give this a go now. I'm intrigued to see if like this tastes much different to the other one. I'm kind of scared I might spill this down myself because it's purple. I kind of want to show you, but I'm also scared I'm going to spill it everywhere. This tastes exactly like an innocent like black currant smoothie, you know, like one of the kind of berry smoothies from Innocent or just like any, any other brand of berry smoothie is available. It just tastes like one of them, but like super sour. This is also quite a bit thicker than the Yo Valley one. I don't know if that makes a difference like to its benefits or not. I don't really know if this is much better than that or whether this is just very overpriced, like I said. But anyway, I'm gonna drink this now. Um, that is the extent of the MS haul. I need to do some editing. It's 11 o'clock now. So I'm gonna drink this, get on with a little bit of editing and I'll see you in a bit. I thought we could try the Burger King spring rolls. Burger King, beef burger. Beef burger spring rolls. I'm really not too sure how to feel about this. I also have just had a notification come through on my phone to say that um, McDonald's are doing £1.39 nuggets today. They've got like an off run and I've got the McDonald's app so I've got a notification and now I wish I was going to McDonald's. And there is one probably like 15 minutes from Josh's house. But like, if it was five minutes away, I probably would have gone. But 15 minutes away, I'm kind of like, can I be bothered? Not really. So I'm just going to have these. I am also going to have some leftovers. I've just heated two up because I don't know if I'm going to like them. And I can't really be bothered to heat the sauce up, which I feel like is a bit of a half-hearted attempt. But I'm just being honest with you. I am going to have some leftover um, chicken and stuff from last night's dinner as like my main lunch. But I just thought we could try these. A lot of um, grease has come out of these, I'm gonna be honest. And I really just, if it wasn't for the gherkins, I think I would love these. But I just don't think I'm gonna be able to take the gherkins out. I feel like I need to cut them in half because they're really hot at the moment and that's just gonna make them cool down quicker if I do that. I can then also see if there's any gherkins in it. This is what it looks like on the inside, if anybody cares. I can't see any gherkins, so I think I might be safe. It's very weird. I can't decide if I like that or not. Like, it literally just, just tastes like a beef burger, but then you've got the crunchiness of the spring roll and together. I just don't know if I can get my head around that. I really cannot work out if I like that. Like, I really like the crispiness and the burger itself tastes nice, but I just don't know if it works together. I'm unsure. Anyway, right, I'm gonna have some leftover lunch and then, no, leftover dinner. And then I'm gonna take Luna for a quick walk around the field. It is. Quarter to one for time reference. So yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch, walk Luna around the field for a bit. And then I don't really know what I'm gonna do this afternoon. The come shot we may have edited, so that is done. So I don't really know. I'll have some lunch, walk Luna like I said, and then we can see. It's a look. The wide leg joggers do not really work with the boots, but I'm not gonna see anyone, so it doesn't really matter. That was literally the most windiest, blusteriest walk ever. My ears are so sore. You know like when it's so windy and it just like makes your ears hurt? That is how I feel. And the entire walk, I was just thinking about how I cannot wait to go home and I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate. And that is exactly what I've done. My mug is in the dishwasher, which I'm kind of gutted about because um, Josh got me it a little while ago. I showed it in the weekly vlog whenever like we got it and it was from Tesco and it says my favorite on it and it is the cutest mug and I literally love it. But Josh made me a hot chocolate yesterday morning in bed, which was lovely, like a lovely way to start off my Sunday, but it's now in the dishwasher. So I've just had to use this one, which I'm kind of sad about. But anyway, I've used my whipped cream. I've put one of the giant Mrs. Potts um, marshmallows in it and it's like the ultimate hot chocolate. So I'm gonna sit and eat this or drink this. And I'm gonna watch the new um, Holly B Fitness vlog because she just moved to LA um, and she posted a vlog yesterday and I haven't watched it yet, but she did like a little like update post on Instagram yesterday and she was posting some Instagram stories. I don't know. Let me just grab my phone. I don't know if they'll still be up. Like, because of the whole 24 hour thing, I don't know if they're still gonna be um, on her Instagram story, but I was literally just watching them thinking how jealous I was. Okay, no, it has actually, they're still up here. Look at how nice her apartment is. Like, look at how aesthetically pleasing that is. I love it. And then she posted this about going um, to a soul cycle class and just like being by the beach and just like, oh my God. I've never been to LA, but I would love to live there. Not like full term like she's doing, but like for a month or like for a few months, I'd love to 
just like go and live out there, live the LA lifestyle, go to soul cycle classes, go to the beach. Oh my gosh, she also posted this. Um like as an actual post. This is literally my idea of heaven. Look at this, all these girls that she's made friends with and they're just going for a sunrise morning swim and then they went and got breakfast afterwards. That is literally like my dream. I would love to do that. So I'm gonna watch her vlog and like, um, just kind of see what she's been doing with that. And obviously I'll drink my hot chocolate. Also, I've just remembered actually talking of mugs. I popped to Sainsbury's the other day. I've come to the Valentine's Day section in Sainsbury's and they have got so many cute things. I'm so tempted by this. This little like heart shaped drinking glass because I've got a few like this from TK Maxx. Like I've got a ghost one. I feel like I've got another one as well. So I feel like this would work really well for my collection. It's got little love hearts on it. I also love this mug as well. I really do not need any more mugs though. If I bought this, my mum would kill me. But how pretty is that? They've also got this giant one as well, which I kind of love. I don't really get what half the slogans mean, but the mug is absolutely giant. Like look at how big that is. And this little garland would be so cute for like a little Valentine's Day night, like a little party or something. It's only £2.50 as well. So it's so cheap and you can actually like kind of have that out all year round but for like a little Galentine's like movie night or something you could get the masks and stuff it'd be so cute. I'm also so tempted by these little 3D heart ice mods because imagine like making a little iced coffee with those. I love me a novelty ice cube I don't know what it is about them and I feel like these are a really good size and I'm so tempted but I really do not need to spend £5 on ice cube moulds. Also TK Maxx who look at these little heart candles these ones are only £3 as well which I feel like is such a good price and they're so cute. I'm kind of tempted to get them, but I have no idea where I'd put them and what I would do with them. Like, obviously you're meant to light them, but I feel like they're too pretty to light. I just don't have anywhere for them to go. But they're £3, so I'm so tempted. Oh my god, no. Look what I've just seen. It's a little fondant fancy. And it says, I fancy you. For £2.50, Josh could literally make my day. That is so cute. Like, what are you meant to do with that? It's giving, like, jelly cat vibes, but I kind of love it. That is so novelty and so cute. I love it. That could potentially be my favourite thing from the whole thing. I really want to try this. I don't even like hot sauce. It's literally just because it's Ed Sheeran's like hot sauce thing. It's called Tingly Ted's and I've been trying to, well not been trying to find it, but you know when you're like, oh, if I see it, I'll get it. But I've never come across it until today and I'm really tempted to get it, but like, I'm not really a hot sauce girly. So why am I getting it? I don't know. I'm just kind of sucked in by the packaging and the fact that like it's Ed Sheeran's and I'm just intrigued to try it. If anyone's tried it and they like it, let me know and maybe I'll get it, but I'm not too sure at the moment. Maybe I should wait till it's on offer or something. That's probably a good time to try it. Hey. And I um, just like randomly like went in to look for these Cadbury hot chocolates, which I do actually have, so I'll try them with you later on in the vlog. And I went and had a look at their Valentine's Day collection and I filmed a TikTok on it and that TikTok kind of blew up a little bit. Like it's got 150,000 views, which is crazy. And in the TikTok, I was talking about how um, I was on a mug ban because I basically, we all know I love mugs. I buy a lot of them. I have too many of them. Like the fact that I even have my own dedicated mug at my boyfriend's parents' house just kind of explains it all. And I said in the video how like they had some really nice mugs and I was just talking about them saying how like I'm on a mug ban. This is a TikTok if anyone wants to go and watch it. And so many of the comments are saying that people are on a mug ban as well. Like this one says, having a mug ban is so relatable with 229 likes on it. Someone else said, haha, I'm... I'm also on a mug ban, it's my addiction, 104 likes. Another person commented, same, I'm on a mug ban too, I just can't help it. Someone said, tag their friend and was like, I wish I wasn't on a mug ban because I want the first one. Someone else said, I'm the same, I'm addicted to mugs as well. Someone said, I need to go to Sainsbury's, I too am on a mug ban. Someone else said, why would my mum have the same reaction? Because I said, if I bought another mug, my mum would kick me out. She said, why would my mum have the same reaction? I just love mugs so much. Sisters and Seekers commented saying, the mug ban is too real. Someone else said, also on a mug ban. Someone else said, the mug slash cup ban is so real. And then the last one, someone said, I think all women are on a mug ban. So if you yourself are on a mug ban as well, do not feel like you're the only one. I just don't know what it is about them. Like, bear in mind, I don't drink tea. Like, I do drink coffee and I drink hot chocolates, but I don't drink tea. But I just love a mug. I can't help myself. Anyway, I'm rambling. I've just finished watching Holly's vlog. Absolutely loved it. Cannot wait for more. Literally obsessed with this whole LA lifestyle, the aesthetic of her apartment, like, literally everything. And now, I thought we could try my little M&S goodies that I got earlier. I thought we could do, like, a little quick taste test. I feel like I've done a lot of taste tests already today. I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to get into this, actually. Okay, maybe I can. I feel like we've done a lot of taste tests today, but then like I wanted to tell you what the things from MS were like. So we'll just do a quick one for this. And then I think I'm gonna get back on with doing some editing. It is 20 to 3. It feels so much later though. It's gone really grey now. Like it was really nice and sunny earlier and now it's really grey. And I've had a look at the weather forecast for the rest of this week and it is not looking good. My mum texted me and was like um saying that it's meant to snow on Thursday, which I kind of don't really want. Like I love a snow day, but 
I've got plans for Thursday and if I can't go to them because of the snow, I'm going to be really gutted. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just not very nice. I feel like it feels later than it is, but I've got some editing to crack on with. Like I've got a load of TikToks and stuff. I could also make a start on editing this vlog as well. Like I might as well keep on top of it. So I think I'm going to do that, but I thought we could try these because then I can like snack on them this afternoon whilst I edit. I've also got these that I thought we could try as well, but we all know I'm so excited for this. I really want to see what it looks like. Oh, cute. They've kind of like packaged them separately. I mean, you're not really getting much for £9. Like, I know part of the cost is going to go on the tin, but like, I wish they did like a little refill bag because I was thinking about this on the dog walk. Like, once I've eaten all of this, if I want more, do I have to buy another tin? Because I don't want to. I want to be able to just like buy a bag like this that I can refill it with, but I don't know if they do that. So, they put all the little gummies together. There's little eggs and bunnies and carrots. They put them in one bag. And then I think they look like Smarties. Does it say? No, it just says and more. What's the and more? A selection of fruit flavor jellies, sugar coated milk chocolate with a rice center, white chocolate covered popcorn, milk chocolate covered pretzels and milk chocolate covered malt balls. So it's gonna be like, um, oh, here we go. So these are gonna be like Maltesers. These are like little puff rice things. And then the pretzels and the popcorn. I feel like maybe I shouldn't eat this now then because I feel like if I mix them together, is that going to start messing up textures and stuff? Because Easter's still a while away. I feel like I should be eating Valentine's Day things now, not Eastery things. Maybe we'll save that then. I don't really know. I'll try these though. Okay, camera battery's about to on that charge. Let me just change her. BRB. Okay, we'll try these now. The Chalky Hot Plus Bun Bites. Hmm. They smell exactly like Hot Crust Bun. Like, I know that sounds really stupid, but like... The fact that they've managed to get this, also the way I've just opened that has really triggered me. I tried to open it across, but it's just, the packaging just ripped and that really bugs me when that happens. It's like a little chocolate log type thing. Mm. To be fair to m &S, this tastes exactly like hot cross bun. Like they have done that so well. It's like a cinnamony, it's like a spicy orangey fudge with like raisins in it. I feel like my mum would absolutely love that because she loves that kind of spice and like, crust buns and I do like a hot crust bun but they're not like my favorite thing so why did I buy these I don't know these are nice and I will eat them but like I'm not gonna be like scoffing the pack in one go and going back to M&S to repurchase these many times before Easter Sunday and they go out of the stores like I think I'll just have this one bag this Easter I don't think I'll be repurchasing them like they're nice and if you love a hot crust bun you will love these but like I somewhat like hot crust buns so that's why I somewhat like these but I feel like that's kind of obvious because they are literally called hot crust bun bites. The clue's in the name, Georgie. The clue is in the name. It is now 20 to six. It's dark outside. Josh is home from work and this is tonight's dinner. We're having our childish nursery tea, nursery dinner, whatever you want to call it. We've got sausages, hoops, and then curly fries. And I'm actually really feeling this dinner tonight. Like I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think I'm just gonna cook these both in the air fryer and then obviously just chuck that in the microwave. So it's super quick, super easy. Not the most nutritious, but absolutely delicious. And I cannot wait. <laughs> Yes, I definitely have overdone it with this spaghetti hoop portion. Please do not judge me. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm gonna be honest with you here, girly wellies. Um, we've got a moment of truth here. I have absolutely fallen off the marathon training course the past week. I did not go on a single run last week. I did not put my running trainers on once last week. And do I feel bad about it? Yeah, a little bit, but do I regret it? Absolutely not. I've just kind of got to the point, like I just can't be bothered anymore. Like I'm gonna be brutally honest. I've just almost feel like I've hit a wall and I'm kind of like, I just feel like I'm spending all my time running and obviously like that's kind of what happens if you don't really run and then you decide to sign yourself up for a marathon and you don't think you're going to get a place and then you somehow manage to get a place in the ballot even though there's only like a 3% chance of getting a place and then you think oh god if I don't take my place then I'm never going to get offered a place again so it's now or never so I might as well accept my place and then you've got to train for a marathon after not being a runner. That's kind of what happens. So. I ran my half marathon the week before last. It actually went really well and I really enjoyed it, although I did think, how on earth am I gonna do this twice? 
but anyway um and then i just kind of took a couple days off running to kind of like give my body a little bit of time to rest after the half marathon and then i just haven't run since oh i went for one short run actually but other than that i haven't run since but this morning i need to get back on the horse we need to get back on with the marathon training because the marathon is in april so we've not got long t minus two months um so i'm gonna go for a run this morning i'm just gonna go for a quick like 30 minute one just to kind of get back into it and then I think I might do a longer run towards the end of the week. But what I am going to do this morning, as a little treat to myself, is go to my favourite bakery that's in the local area. They've actually recently moved and they've moved closer to Josh's house, which is ideal. And I was actually planning on running there, um, like running from here to the bakery, because it would have actually been like pretty perfect, like the length of the run in terms of like how far away it was, would have been perfect. But the road that the bakery is on is not like the safest road to run on in the world. And I don't really fancy getting hit by a car on this fine Tuesday morning. And Josh's dad just didn't think it would be safe to run it. So I'm just gonna go for a run in the area and then get in the car and drive to the bakery after my run, which is kind of the only annoying thing about living in the countryside. Like I do love it and it makes going for runs really nice and easy. I don't have to see anyone. But like if I lived in a town, I feel like running in London would almost be kind of fun because you could always like stop off at a coffee shop or like run to something. Like I'm gonna run to go and get myself as freshly squeezed juice as a reward. Whereas here, I'm just running in mud. But anyway, that's enough of a ramble. Can you tell I'm trying to put off going on this run by rambling? Um, I've just got my classic black running outfit on today. It's my go-to. Anyway, I really am rambling. Let's go for this run. Then I can get myself some pastries. I literally cannot wait. That's all I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking about the reward afterwards. Okay, run is done. I'm feeling very sweaty. My hair feels absolutely disgusting, but it is done. And now we can go into the fun bit. I feel like I look like a bald egg. Like, I feel like it looks like I've got no hair on my head. I promise I do. Like there is a ponytail here, but the haircut has made obviously like the ponytail shorter than it normally is. And I suppose running has made my high pony kind of go a little bit lower. But yes, we are off to get my pastries. I really hope they have pistachio ones today. I don't know if they're going to because they don't do like the pistachio ones every day, but I really, really fancy a pistachio pan of chocolate. I mean, I could just get a normal pan of chocolate. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying that properly, but pistachio ones just hit different. I'm just a pistachio girly. I'm just obsessed with it. So I'm hoping they're going to have them, but we'll have a look. They're going to have some form of delicious pastry anyway. I don't really care as long as it's buttery and flaky. I'm not really that fast. My windscreen is literally getting all fogged up from me being really hot and it being cold on the outside. So I'm going to have to put my... um fanny thing on so that I can actually see so I'm gonna put that on so that's not gonna be very good for the audio so I will see you when we're at the bakery okay. so they would be able to get some pastries out the smell in this car right now a minute ago it smelled like those horrible bibs that you had to wear when you were playing netball in secondary school it kind of was resembling the smell of like a boy's changing room like that's the smell that this car was from my running jacket and just me but now it smells incredible these i wish smell vision was a thing so that you could smell these these smell so good i ended up going for they didn't have any pistachio ones today which i was kind of broken hearted by but I got a, they had like a normal pan of chocolate and then they had this bad boy and he's got stripes on him. So I went with him. It was like a guan, gu, I don't even know how to, I don't even know. G-U-A-N-D, something like that. I think it maybe is like a more fancy chocolate or something. It was like a fancy pan of chocolate basically. And then I got a morning bun, but she is covered in sugar. And as soon as I touch it, my fingers are going to get covered. So I shall wait until I'm home um, to eat them. But I'm so excited. It smells so good. Anyway, I'm rambling and I want to go and shove these pastries in my mouth. So let's go home. Still kind of heartbroken they didn't have any pistachio um, pan of chocolate today. Like I said, they're kind of my favourite. But I feel like they only have them on weekends. And then on Saturday, they like they post their menu. And I'm pretty sure on Saturday they said they had pistachio pan of chocolates and pistachio croissants. And I've never seen them have pistachio croissants before. And I don't know if that's going to be like an almond croissant that's pistachio-y. But whatever it is, I want a part in it. But they didn't have it today, like I said. But I did get... I've already showed you this, but she's stunning. Look at that. She deserves a whole another section of the video. And then I thought I'd show you the morning bun as well, which I don't really know how to explain it. It's covered in sugar and it's kind of like 
a really soft, vanilla-y, buttery brioche. It kind of tastes like a donut, but because it's called a morning bun, it feels socially acceptable to eat it for breakfast. Whereas if I was just munching on an original glazed Krispy Kreme right now, I probably would get a bit of judgment. And that is what I need in my life. Something that like, tastes like a donut, but is socially acceptable to eat for breakfast is right up my street. So I'm gonna pop these, mm, I'm not sure all over my fingers, I told you I would. I'm gonna pop these on a plate. Where did I put the tea towel? I don't know. Do you know what? This running jacket is so mucky anyway. It's disgusting. It smells literally like a boy's changing room, like I said. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. Then this can get taken off and I can get showered because although these pastries smell delicious, I in fact do not. And that is not okay. literally ridiculously excited about these. I have not had these pastries in ages and they're literally my favourite. I've never actually had this one before. I've had the morning bun, but I've not had this one. But any of their pastries, they're just buttery, flaky. Oh my God, they're just delicious. Mmm. <laughs> I actually don't know how they do it. Like, when I tell you these pastries, I think, are the best pastries I've ever had. Bearing in mind, we all know, I take my pastries and my overpriced coffee very, very seriously. It's one of my favourite things to do in life, to go out for a coffee and a pastry. So I've had my fair share of pastries in my 23 years, okay? I feel like a slight, somewhat informal, like, unprofessional expert on the um, subject. And these are literally some of the best I've ever had, potentially the best I've ever had. Like, they're just delicious. I, d I just don't get how they do it. No words. Absolutely no words. I actually think I'm in heaven right now. Okay, we have showered, we are fresh. I'm wearing this new little set that I got from Primark and I'm loving it. It's giving like Anola vibes. I will be showing it in a Primark haul coming up, but I don't, I haven't filmed the Primark haul yet and I don't think, am I posting it before this? I don't know. If there's a Primark haul recently on my channel, you would have already seen this. If not, you will see it shortly. Uh, let me just stand here, you can see it a little bit. It's like, I don't know the vibes, I literally love it. But yes, I'm showered and I have this parcel arrived, which is from Maple, but I don't think the brand, I don't really know basically. Let me just get some scissors. I don't know if Maple is like the kind of umbrella brand for this brand, if you know what I mean. Because I know what is in here. These are some juice shots that I got sent from a company to try out. Like, this isn't an ad or anything. They've literally just sent me them to try them. I thought we could try them together on camera. They're from a brand called Magic Mind and they're their productivity shot. My hair is really bugging me, two seconds. I've had to wear sunglasses in my hair because my hair was really bugging me. Like my curtain bangs are getting in the way. So just ignore the fact that I have sunglasses on my head inside when it's not even sunny. Oh my god, the packaging of this is so freaking cute. I've never seen a box open like this before in my life. Let me see if I can show you. So like, it opens like this. Can you see that? Like, do you see what I'm trying to say? Like that opens really cool. This feels like parcel parcel. I've gone through this box and we've got another box and then we've got this box. So it says, get the most magic out of magic mind. You'll feel an elevated sense of energy and a sense of calm focus within an hour of taking magic mind. We don't rely on massive amounts of caffeine like other energy shots because over caffeination is counterproductive. Don't expect wired, expect dialed in. That's on day one. Day three, oh, so apparently like over time, you'll notice more of an improvement with them. The packaging of these is so cool. It's all like kind of beachy. It reminds me of Cornwall. Oh wow, is that how you open it? Let's see what they look like together. Oh wow, look how cute that is. Oh my God, the packaging of these is actually adorable. I love this packaging. Oh wow, wait, can I fold it so it looks like I've, can I fold it so it looks like it does in the shops, you know, when they have like these, does that work like that? It does, look. Do you know what I mean when you go to a shop and they have like that on display, now I can have that. So basically it's like a productivity shop which boosts energy and focus, crushes procrastination and elevates mental clarity with 12 ingredients. It says do more, stress less. This packaging is so flipping cute and on here it says matcha, new tropics, adaptogens and immunity. So I don't know if that's what's in it, but look at how cute that packaging is. They're adorable. I was gonna try one, but it says on here best kept refrigerated and I feel like they're gonna be nicer in the fridge. So I might pop a couple in the fridge and then we can try them later. I'm feeling very color coordinated today as well. Like I've got green shots. I've got my green little set on and actually I did just put on my wild deodorant, which is also green. Again, not an ad, but um, I'm loving this. I got this a couple of weeks ago and I've been trying it out and 
Mine's in like coconut and vanilla, I think it was. It smells a little bit like Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. Like it's actually delicious. And I'm feeling very, very color coordinated today. If only I could have had my um, pistachio pan of chocolate because I also bought this, which I was hoping to have today because I don't have my coffee machine here because obviously I'm at Josh's. So I thought like, instead of having a coffee, like a coffee machine, I thought I could get this instead of like a coffee machine because does anybody remember like 2020 lockdown vibes when there was this like bottle of like coffee that looked like this and you mixed it with milk and it was like, almost like squash but for coffee so instead of adding water to it like you would squash you added milk to it and it was like in tesco and it was in a bottle like this well the other day i was looking for pistachio syrup for my coffee on amazon because i love pistachio and then i came across this which is coffee flavor concentrate salted pistachio so i thought that this was that coffee thing that we had in lockdown but the pistachio version and i thought perfect for coming to josh's when i don't have a coffee machine i can just use this and add milk but then it turned up yesterday in the post and it's just syrup even though it says coffee flavor concentrate and it says you have to add coffee to it so i can't really use it annoyingly because otherwise i could have had a really cute like pistachio girly morning routine like i'm not a clean girl i'm not really into the clean girl aesthetic because i feel like fake lashes and stuff and my makeup isn't really clean girly and stuff but i've kind of made up my own like pistachio girl era and i'm in my pistachio girl era where i wear little like adenola looking sets that are actually pistachio color have my pistachio lattes and my pistachio pan of chocolates and do pilates it's all the peas that's what i love in life pistachios pastries and pilates so i'm a pistachio girl and i could have had a very pistachio girly morning but apparently not anyway i'm gonna pop two of these in the fridge and i will try them later i've got some editing to do this morning to be fair i'm just gonna pop them there i don't really have loads i need to do today so i don't really need a productivity shot but i kind of want to try them it says drink daily for a sharper mind steady energy and less stress I just love the packaging. I think they're so cute. I wonder what they're going to taste like. If they taste like matcha, I'm probably not going to be the biggest fan. But I suppose these normally these juice shot things aren't the nicest. You just kind of, you know, shot them for the goodness in them. So we'll try that later. I'm just going to get on some editing now, like I said. It is now 10.24. So yeah, I'm just going to do a bunch of editing for a bit. Girlies, I really am just in the best mood today. I'm also blending in slash matching with the furniture in Josh's house. Also this like cushion. I'm so colour coordinated today. Anyway, let me just push myself back a bit. I've just sat down to get on some editing. I've been voice noting Mia. I'm seeing her on Thursday and I literally cannot wait because I've not seen Mia in the longest time and I've missed her so much. But like our schedules just haven't aligned. I've been in Cornwall. We had Christmas. It's just been a little bit chaotic. So I literally cannot wait to see her on Thursday. I have two days to go, two sleeps to go. Feels like Christmas. And then I'm seeing Mia. I literally cannot wait. But I don't know whether to film it in this week's weekly vlog or to film it for next week's weekly vlog and like start a new weekly vlog on Thursday or whether to film it as a completely different come shop with me and it's going to be too late by the time this video goes live for you to tell me what you'd rather but I just don't know which to do anyway yes I'm seeing me on Thursday I've been chatting to her a lot this morning and we've got some fun things planned and stuff which is just making me really excited and really happy um I've had my favorite pastries ever so my stomach's happy I've been for a run so I feel a bit good about that and I woke up this morning to an email from White Fox saying that the stuff that I picked out for my collaboration with them is on its way to me and it should be getting delivered on Monday. So I'm so excited about that because that feels like Christmas as well. When that gets delivered, it's like a giant box and I can open it up and I'm just like, oh, I love White Fox clothes so much. Like honestly, their hoodies and stuff, like their clothing is such good quality. Like I know it's a little bit more of a premium price tag, but the quality is so good. It's so worth it. So I'm so excited for that to arrive. I'm just feeling really, really good. Like it's only half 10 and I feel like I've had the best day already. Like I just feel so happy and so excited about like upcoming things and stuff. And yeah, I'm just in a really good mood. So I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, I am gonna stop rambling now because I do need to get on with some editing. I say that I don't have loads and loads of editing to do. I've just got like a few TikToks and then I thought I might as well start editing this weekly vlog. So that's quite nice as well. Like I've got stuff to do so I can feel productive, but like, I don't have like a never ending to-do list today that's gonna feel really overwhelming. It can be like a little bit more chill. That's Mia messaging me back. But yeah, I'm just in like the best mood ever. I'm feeling incredible. And right, I'm gonna stop rambling now, let you get on. I'm gonna get on with some editing and I'll see you in a bit. I've just been sat here doing some editing of the vlog that you're currently watching. And whilst I was waiting for some clips to import, I went on TikTok and I don't know what it is about my TikTok. I don't know if anybody else's for you page is like this at the moment, but mine, like I watched one of these TikToks this morning and now this account keeps coming up. It's this place called Plato's Closet closet i don't know i said that weirdly plato's closet it's an american thing i've only just started to work out what it is like i've not heard of it before but i've literally had about four or five of their tiktoks come up in fact this is a different account this is a different plato's closet i basically think it's like you know like in the uk how we have charity shops and stuff i think this is like that but 
you bring in your clothes and then they pay you a certain amount depending on how much your clothes are worth and they sell them so it's not actually a charity shop but i think it's like i think it's that sort of concept but it's like a, a chain of stores so there's a few stores of different accounts because the one that i saw this morning they had a pinned account they had a pinned one here with like four million views so this is a different account and it's a different girl and everything but they basically like go through the bags of clothes that people have brought in and decide whether they're gonna like keep them or give them back to the person or what. And I've literally watched about six of them and I've kind of like somewhat become addicted to them. And I really don't know why, like, especially because we don't even have these in the UK, I don't know why I'm getting so interested in them. Okay guys, we got two good bags. A little Levi's tea. We're gonna check for some strainer. I don't know what it is about them. Like they go through them, they check like the condition, make sure they've not got any marks on them and stuff. And it's kind of like a surprise bag. Like I feel like a child, you know, like children love watching like, surprise bag toy unboxings i feel like this is like that because you don't know what clothes they're going to bring out i bet if i scroll down on my for you page there'll be another one in a minute i'm just going to test my theory and see here we go there's another one see i just seem to have all these plato's closet accounts again this is a different one this isn't the one i saw this morning there must be so many different stores that all have an account and now they all seem to be coming up on my for you page because i've literally watched one and now my for you page is literally flooded with them i'm gonna have some lunch now it's 12 o'clock but I am going to have, why am I talking so slowly? I do not know. Um, I'm going to have um, some roasted butternut squash because Josh's parents have got this butternut squash left that needs eating. So I thought I'd take one for the team. I thought I'd have it for my lunch today because um, mum makes this like roasted butternut squash dish thing that we often have like as a side. Um, I'm trying to think what we would normally have it with and I cannot think off the top of my head. But like, you know how say, for example, last night, Josh and I had sausage chips and beans. Well, actually I have spaghetti hoops, but anyway. You know what the side being spaghetti hoops? We would often have like butternut squash with like, say a chicken breast and cubed potatoes or something. This we'd often have as a side and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna have it for my lunch, but I don't know if I want anything else with it. Cause I feel like it is a bit of a sidey thing, but anyway, I don't know. I really am rambling. Um, like I said, it's only 12 o'clock, but cause I need to roast the squash. I feel like it's gonna take a little while, but basically, what mum does is just um, cubes um, a squash, like cut it in little cubes and then roast it. And then at the end, you mix it through with creme fraiche, which we don't have any here, but I've still got some of the, um, I don't know if you can hear me because I've got my back to you. I'm just trying to find it. We've still got some of the sour cream left over from tacos the other night. So I'm hoping I'll be able to use that um, and make that work. And basically you just mix creme fraiche with red pesto, some chili flakes, and then some chopped up sun-dried tomatoes. And it is so good. Like, I don't know where mum got that from. She must've got it from like a recipe book or a magazine or something, but I absolutely love it. Like when she cooks it for dinner as like a side, I literally get so excited. And I would never think to like have it. Do you know what I mean? Like I never would have thought of that myself. Anyway. That is what I'm gonna make for lunch now. And then whilst that's roasting, I'm literally just gonna carry on editing you the weekly vlog because I might as well just get it done. And I'm actually really enjoying this week's weekly vlog so far. I'm really like enjoying like watching the footage back and editing it. So I'm gonna do that just so I let you know what I'm having for lunch. I'll show you when it's done so I can you can see what I mean. Because I feel like I've explained it well, but I still feel like you need to actually see it so you can envision it, you know. It really doesn't look that um, interesting or like appetizing or appealing right now. I did also forget that mum often does like onion in it. So she puts the onion in with the butternut squash and it goes all like roasted and everything. It's really delicious, but I'm not actually following a recipe. Like I'm just trying to remember how mum makes it. Like I don't have the recipe or anything. I'm just trying to do it from like, like from memory sort of thing. It doesn't look the best at the moment, but trust me, it does actually taste really good. And if you're having it as like a side, with chicken or something like i said it does taste really really good this really looks nothing like how mum does it like with the creme fraiche i think it is going to be better like i said i had to use sour cream because we didn't have any creme fraiche here and it's just i don't think it's quite the same it's not going to be quite as good it's like this high roast chicken i made the other day it was good but it was nowhere near as good as mum makes it even though i literally followed the recipe i mean we didn't have the limes or the red thai curry and i had to use coconut milk instead of coconut cream so maybe that kind of adds into it maybe the problem is here that i'm not using the right ingredients for things i don't know Anyway, my lunch is now served. I'm gonna eat this, carry on editing. And then I might join Luna in a bit. <laughs> She's just chilling on the sofa and I think I might join her and maybe like have a bit of a chilled afternoon and then do some more editing later. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I just realized what I forgot. I forgot to put the pesto in. 
That's why it's not quite as good. Because I haven't put any pesto in it. This is the thing, see? If I had the right ingredients slash I had a recipe, I think it would all be okay. There we go. That kind of, I mean, I was going to say it looks better. Does it really look better? Not really, but it's got a bit more colour to it now. I know it's going to taste better. <laughs> I think the problem might be solved. My brother bought me these like a couple of months ago when he went to Thailand and I've been meaning to try them on camera for ages and I just keep forgetting and I just haven't got around to it. And now I finally need to do it today. We're going to try these. I've got garlic bread and carbonara flavour crisps from Thailand. He took them all the way. My brother backpacked around Thailand and literally made room in his bag to be able to bring these home for me because he knew I would love them. Garlic bread flavor and carbonara flavor. Like that is a little bit of me. So I thought we could try them. It's about two o'clock now and I'm gonna have like a little bit of a break um, from editing just because I don't have loads to do today, like I said. So I thought I might as well like have a little bit of chill time this afternoon. I've started a new book. So I think I'm gonna read that for a bit. I'm now reading, um, it's a, Colleen Hoover book actually. I, I've read a couple of hers and I do quite like them. I know they're quite like um, TikTok, like book talk popular as well. It's called Too Late, The Darkest Thriller of the Year. I'm already 22% in and I'm actually really enjoying it. You know how I said the other day, like, you know when you start a new book, you have to get like, sometimes it takes me a while to like actually warm to the book and like it and enjoy it. But literally I started reading a few pages of this and I was already obsessed with it. So I feel like that's a really good thing. I also might finish watching Last Night's Love Island, okay? Because I feel like TV recently has been a little bit rubbish. Like ever since The Traitor's finished, I've had a traitor shaped hole in my heart and like, I've just not really known what to watch. And I tried watching The Australian Traitors because I saw someone on TikTok say like, it's actually really good. And I know a lot of people now that the UK Traitor series two is finished, they've gone over and watched the Australian one. And I gave it a go, but I just couldn't get on board with it. Like, it wasn't the castle in Scotland. It was like obviously a different house in Australia and stuff. And like, I just couldn't get on board with it. It felt like a bit of a cringy spin off, like B tech version. And I just wasn't really feeling it. So, in the evenings, I've literally really struggled on what to watch. And I have been watching Love Island All Stars because I have literally watched every single series of Love Island. Like, I watched series one before it even was a big thing. I don't even know why I watched it. Like, I don't know how I knew about it. But I have literally watched every single series, summer, winter, from season one. So I felt like it was only right to watch All Stars. And it's been okay. It's kind of been the type of thing I've had on in, like, the background of, like, when I'm filming trial clips or video or something. I've just kind of had it on in the background. So, like, in the evenings, when I actually sit down, and I want to watch something without kind of having it on the background, if you know what I mean. I've really struggled on what to watch because I just don't feel like there's anything at the moment. I've kind of watched everything like I've been wanting to watch. However, last night I watched Sunday night's episode of Love Island because I never really watch it live. I normally watch it the day after. Oh my God, that was incredible TV. If you have not watched it, I mean, I say if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it, but I feel like you need to have watched like all of the episodes like the previous episodes for it to make full on sense. If you just watched that episode on its own, it wouldn't be as good. But basically Georgia Steele got absolutely ripped to shreds for basically being a liar and saying one thing to one person, saying things to the other because they did the kind of like movie night thing. It was so good. It was the type of TV I was sat here on the sofa and I was literally at multiple points going, like hands to the face, audibly gasping. I was reacting to it. It should have been on Gogglebox to be honest. In hindsight, I should have filmed it. Like I would have filmed it for you if I'd have known. Like I didn't realize it was gonna be that good TV. I so should have filmed my reaction because it was so good. I actually kind of want to rewatch that section right now, which I've never done before with Love Island, but it was that good. So anyway, what was I saying about that? Oh yeah, I've got last night's episode to watch. So I might also watch that this afternoon. Anyway, right, what we're here for is to try these. That's a little bit of a film and book chat as to where I'm at. Which one do we start with? Garlic bread or carbonara? I've got like my whole main course and side here in a crisp. We'll start with the carbonara. I seem to remember my brother said these were actually quite nice. Like they do kind of taste like carbonara, but I'm just really intrigued by it. Mm. They actually kind of smell like it in a weird way. Like they've kind of got like a bacon-y, they actually smell like proper like carbonara. Like not even, you know like the smoky bacon walkers crisps. They actually don't smell anything like bacon. I don't know why I was so em em like emphasize that. They don't like taste like smoky bacon, but these literally smell like carbonara. Ugh. Why do I feel so scared? That's potentially the weirdest thing I've ever tried in my life. I'm actually so confused because that properly tastes like carbonara and I love carbonara and I love crisps, but I don't think I like this. It's like the um, beef burger spring rolls all over again. At first you get like a cheesy taste, then you get like a garlicky taste. It literally, I don't get how they do that. I feel like this is like Willy Wonka, you know, when he has the gum and they're like, at first it's, um, I don't know why that was a really American accent. What is it? Like, you know, and like, you have like the Willy Wonka gum that's like tomato soup to start with and then it ends in like a blue blue pie. 
That's what this tastes like. Like it literally changes flavor whilst you're eating it. I don't think I like it, but I want to try it again. Cheesy, like parmesan -y. Then garlicky, like really quite garlicky. And then you just get the aftertaste of carbonara in your mouth like you would if you'd have eaten a big bowl of carbonara. That is potentially the weirdest thing ever. I don't know how they've got that so spot on with tasting like carbonara. Okay, now for the little side, we've got the garlic bread. I feel like this is just gonna taste like super garlicky, obviously. Tell me how. These have got a stronger garlic flavor than these do. These don't really taste like much. These I could actually eat though, because they're not really that offensive. They're just like, they don't have a massive amount of flavor. I thought I was gonna be like punched in the face with garlic with these. But these actually have more garlicky when you get to the garlic bit in these than this does. These are a little bit underwhelming, especially after the carbonara ones being so like full of flavor and like taking me on some mystical journey, like down the river with Willy Wonka kind of vibe. These are a little bit more like, not really a lot going on. Okay, to be fair, that second one was a lot more garlic bready. I also don't think it helps that when I make garlic bread at home, I put about five cloves of garlic in it because to me, you can never have enough garlic. That was very interesting. I don't really know where you can buy these unless you want to go to Thailand, but if you are in Thailand and you do ever see these, I would recommend picking these up just purely to try them because it will take you on a weird taste journey and your mind will be blown. Girlies, the, um, I'm gonna be honest with you here. My For You page is flooded now with Plato's Closet. Like, I don't know, like I said, if anybody else is, this is the same, but I just finished watching Last Night's Love Island and then I've kind of been watching like a little bit of YouTube and then also been on TikTok. And look, this is literally just gone on TikTok. And this girl, this is um, Becca, people love her. Everyone says she's the best like Plato's Closet like buyer type thing. Cause like I said, quite a lot of the stores seem to do them. Every, it's pretty much like every third TikTok now is Plato's Closet. And the problem is I keep watching them. So basically now for the next week, this is gonna be my obsession until I kind of get bored of them. And then next week we move on to something else. But let me tell you, there is another thing I'm obsessed with on TikTok. It's these crispy marshmallows. I keep seeing them, but you can only get them in Australia. And I have been craving them all week. I don't know how you can crave something that you have never eaten before, but I literally, when I see TikTok them in, it makes my mouth water. I couldn't stop thinking about them on my way to M&S yesterday. I've thought about them multiple points today. I literally cannot help myself. I also really want to try this like mango peelable candy that I keep seeing, but again, it's in Australia, which is really annoying. But it's like a little mango thing and then you can like peel it and then you eat the inside and you eat the outside. And I really, really want both of them. And I cannot stop thinking about them, but I can't find them anywhere. Let me just um, get it up on TikTok so I can show you. This is them. And you can like peel the outside of it and then inside looks like a mango. This literally looks like a mango. And then that's the outside. I'm literally obsessed. And then this is the TikTok that made me obsessed with these crispy marshmallows, right? I was like, what is this woman eating? I didn't know what they were, they looked delicious. And I saw on the search here, crispy marshmallow. This came up on my view page the other day and now I'm literally obsessed with them. This is what they look like and I really yeah. want to try them. Now... Oh, what? What the hell? I get the hype. That had like many emotions. It's a little crunch when you bite into it. A bit of sherbet feels like it comes out and then it's a marshmallow. Then it just disintegrates. I cannot explain to you how badly I want to try them. Like the crispy marshmallows are the top of my list. They literally, mm look so good like i really want to go to australia as it is okay like that is on the bucket list one of the top places to go whenever i see someone take a picture of that pool next to the sea i want to say it's in bondi beach but i'm scared that might be incorrect let me just change my camera settings i've just realized this is ridiculously like bright whenever i see that i get a little close to shedding a tear because i just really really want to go to australia like it's Probably my top three places I really want to visit. And now I want to go there even more so I can get my hands on those crispy bloody marshmallows and those peelable mango candies. I feel like the mango candies I might be able to find maybe in like um, an Asian supermarket or something. But the crispy marshmallows, I, I'm not too sure I'm going to find them until I get to Australia, but like I am on the hunt for them. Like I've been scouring eBay. I have been putting the research in, been searching many a time on Google in the hope that some like American import shop is gonna start stocking them so I can buy them because I just can't, I can't get these crispy marshmallows out of my head. I've been thinking about them nonstop for the past few days and I just, I just can't move on from it. Maybe I just need to book a trip to um, Australia. Maybe I should get on Skyscanner and book that flight just so I can go to Kmart to get those marshmallows because I just don't know how I'm gonna go on with my life without them. And I also really wanna try this thing. I don't know why I'm just sitting on the floor here. 
It's because I showed you the clips there and then I'm just ended up sitting here anyway. I want to try this thing called Levashak, I think it's called. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. I think it's a Turkish thing. I'm not 100% sure though. But it's basically, it looks like a fruit winder. I saw it on a TikTok the there of someone eating it and literally, again, it made my mouth water. They had it in like a pomegranate syrup um, and then they dipped it in pomegranate seeds and it was like crunchy and chewy and apparently it's really sour and I really, really want it. And you can order it online. You can order it like pre-made, like mixed together with like the fruit roll up, the syrup and the pomegranate seeds. Or obviously you can buy like the separate parts. And weirdly, I already have the pomegranate seed in my cupboard at home. I don't know why we bought it. I think maybe for like a salad dressing or something. I don't really know what you use it for, but I saw it the other day in my cupboard at home. Someone had bought it, so I'm going to be stealing that. And I know obviously I can get pomegranate seeds from Tesco. I just need to get this like fruit roll up, fruit leather type thing. You can order it online, but there's quite a few like um, Asian supermarkets and stuff and like, Oriental supermarkets in Cambridge. So I might pop to one of them at some point and see if I can get it in there. Cause obviously it'll be cheaper if I can buy it in store rather than like ordering online. But I really want to try it. Like it literally, again, let me just quickly show you. It makes my mouth water. I know loads of people on TikTok get, are getting influenced by like the Summer Fridays lip balms and the road lip balms. And loads of girls are being influenced on TikTok by that kind of thing. And here's me getting influenced by random foods that you cannot get in the UK. I feel like this weekly vlog has been very food dominated. I apologize if that's not a bit of you, but apparently I just love food. I just love trying things. Okay, it's called Lavashak with an A. Is Persian fruit roll? Oh, it's Persian, my bad. Me too, sis, me too. Yeah, she says it's really sour. And like, I'm seeing all these TikToks. Listen to this. Are you joking? I need that in my life. I need that in my life. I just really like, just need it. I need it, okay? Anyway, why are we sitting on the floor talking about foods I've seen on TikTok that I really want? I don't know. It is now half three. I'm going to get back on with editing. I took like an hour or so off to just chill on the sofa and watch Plato's Closet TikToks. <laughs> but now I'm going to carry on editing this weekly vlog so I feel productive and I don't feel like I'm spending my whole life on TikTok, which apparently I am. Okay, who wants another taste test? I know I do. I literally just said I feel like this whole vlog has basically been TikToks, not TikToks, me trying things. And here we are with two more things because I remember I got these from B&M the other day because this is actually Australian. Um, it's imported from Australia. It's one of those like, I got it from B&M and they often have like imported like Australian chocolate in B&M. So I'm hoping someone on the B&M buying team is gonna get those crispy marshmallows imported because if they've got Australian chocolate, next up it's the marshmallows. Um, and I've tried loads of the Cadbury um, imported chocolate bars from B&M but they've also got some Kit Kat ones and this looked delicious. It's Kit Kat Milky Bar. Are you joking? What a great combination. And I also got these Horlicks tablets. Now, I don't think I've ever actually had Horlicks. Why are we still on the floor doing this? I don't know. Should I move somewhere better? No, we're here now. Um, but these I saw on one of the new food pages, but apparently these were like a thing many a year ago. They're celebrating their 150th birthday. So I think these were like a thing back in the olden days and they've just kind of brought them back for their anniversary. And they're multi like tablets. If you don't know what Horlicks is, it's like a kind of, Almost like hot chocolate, but it's like malty. I don't think I've ever had it, but it like it looks like hot chocolate in the fact it comes in that kind of tub and it's a powder and you mix it with milk and it's like a malty taste, which I'm guessing is gonna taste like the inside of a Malteser. And these are like a chewy tablet. On the back it says pressed malted milk powder tablets, but apparently you chew them, you don't suck them. So I thought we could try them because that seemed fun. And I've been on the hunt for them for a little while, but I haven't managed to find them. And then I finally found them in a random B&M and there was literally one left. So I took it as a sign that I needed them. I kind of hope that I like these because if I do, I feel like these would be quite a nice, like sweet to have in the car and stuff. Should we open them together and see what they look like? Ready? I'm scared that I might throw them everywhere. Oh, you don't actually get as many in there as I thought you did. And they're quite big. Let's see. Okay. They smell, oh my God. <coughs> It's gone right on my nose. They smell just like a Malteser, like an inside of it without the chocolate on. I'm really confused how these are gonna be chewy. To me, they look like they should dissolve in the mouth. So I'm really back with how I'm gonna chew this. That's not chewy. I'm really confused because on the packaging, it says irresistibly chewy, but they crumbled in my mouth. And then like, as I ate them all, they kind of went chewy, but that was just because like, I think all the powder had got stuck to like 
the liquid if you know what I mean but I when they said they were chewy I was thinking they were going to be chewy like a chew it but they're not and then at first I really like them because they literally taste like a Malteser just without the chocolate and sometimes I like to suck the chocolate or like I like to bite the chocolate off Maltesers sometimes and then just eat the inside on its own and I love that and at first it tasted like that and I thought amazing love this then halfway through it kind of tasted like yeast or like I can't work out what the taste was, but it tasted weird. And then at the end, it went back to being nice. So now I can't decide if I like them or not because that middle bit kind of really ruined it for me. And I really don't know how I feel about them and it's like the most random thing I've ever tried. And now I'll quickly try this. I did see a TikTok though where people were saying that Australian chocolate's really rubbish. Like Australian dairy milk compared to normal dairy milk is really bad because they put loads of like stuff in it to stop it melting in like the Australian humidity. And everyone says that like English chocolate is superior, but Maybe that's true or not, I don't know. This literally smells so good. Don't know why I'm showing you it. You can obviously guess what it's gonna look like, but it smells just like Milky Bar. It says in the back here, know your portion, one finger equals one serving. How is that one serving? Saying I've got 11 servings in this package, so there must be 11 sticks. Oh my God. Wow, that is literally so good. This bar cost me 2 99 It was one of the most expensive chocolate bars I've ever bought in my life, but I have no regrets. Now I wanna go back to B&M and buy like five. I really wanna stock up on this. This is delicious. Well worth every single penny for this overpriced chocolate bar. Oh my God. I really am gonna stop rambling now and stop doing taste tests. I'm gonna get on with editing and leave you alone for a bit because I really am rambling in your ear today. Adele tickets go on pre-sale tomorrow and I'm stressed. Like I really, really, really want to see Adele. Like it is one of my lifelong dreams. That sounds a little bit lame, but like it's on my bucket list. She's probably the like top person I would love to see in concert. Shit, yeah, good question. That, yeah, that is a good question. I'm currently cooking dinner. I'm doing like a garlic butter prawn pasta. I saw it on TikTok. I've not actually done it before. And um, like, I've not tried it, but I'm excited. Anyway, this is not what this was about. Look at this. I put my phone up here with the little grippy thing. And I can watch YouTube videos whilst I'm cooking dinner. Cause I was thinking like, oh, I can't really have my laptop there. Like normally when I cook dinner, I'll have my laptop on, like on the work service and I'll be watching something. But obviously when I'm at the hob, I can't do that. Then I thought of this. How genius is this? So now I can watch Screen Chins' vlog whilst I'm cooking dinner. Good morning, happy Wednesday everybody. I am a little bit nervous this morning because I'm waiting for the Adele um, tickets to go live. I've got everything set up over there on my laptop. I am keeping an eye on the clock. I am not taking my eyes off the time this morning because if I miss it, I'm going to be so annoyed. I know the likelihood of me getting tickets is very slim, but you've got to be in it to win it, you know? Like, if I don't try, I'm never going to get them. And if I at least try my hardest to get them and I don't get them, obviously I'm going to be annoyed. But like, if I miss that time, I'm going to be fuming at myself. Uh, I haven't even got dressed yet today. Just got my little um, AliExpress Jeff out from New Raybon and also look at this mug that I got the other day from AliExpress. I thought it'd be so cute. I, haven't, um, I need to wash it up before I drink anything out of it, but look at how cute. It goes so well with robe because it's got like little strawberries and blueberries on the mug. It literally goes perfectly and then it's got a little love heart handle. How cute. Anyway, it's currently 8.37. The Adele tickets go on sale at nine. Um, so I'm just, I need to tidy the house up a little bit this morning. Like I've just got a few things lying around. The dishwasher needs emptying. So I'm just going to do a couple of bits and bobs like that because Josh's parents are home um, tonight. And also it just kind of needs doing anyway. I'm going to wait for the Adele tickets to come on. They come on at three different times today. They come on at 9 a.m., 12 p.m. I think, or 1 p.m. and then 5 p.m. But I'm hoping I'm going to get them at 9 a.m. so I don't have to worry about the rest of the time throughout the day. Um, I've not got loads of nose to do today, which is quite nice. It's a little bit of a chill day. So yeah, I'm just going to have a little bit of a tidy up, get my Adele tickets, fingers crossed. Then I think I'll take Luna for a walk. It's a little bit sunny at the moment. And I feel like at the moment this week with the weather, I don't really know what's going on. Like one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's super, super windy. One minute it's raining. It absolutely chucked it down last night. Uh, but it, I was all like cozy in bed and I love hearing the rain on the window. So I think I might just walk Luna in a minute um, just to kind of get it done, get her out and start get a bit of fresh air. And yeah, obviously I'll take you along with me for the day. Um, I feel like there's something else I was gonna say to you and I can't remember what it was. I feel like this vlog has very predominantly been food related and that was very unintended and I do want to apologise for that but 
because I'm obviously not at home. I'm not having my parcels delivered, so my usual like parcel unboxings I'm not doing. And like Josh's room doesn't have much natural light, so I can't really do like get ready with me's and like things like that. So I do feel like it has very predominantly been food based, and I do apologise if that's got a bit repetitive. But anyway, that is today's plan. It is Wednesday. I'm gonna get my hands on some Adele tickets. I just want two. I don't care what dates in August. I just want two Adele tickets because I just want to go and see her. I will literally fly to Munich just so I can go and see her because it's on the bucket list. So fingers crossed for me, okay? This is the current setup. We have it on the laptop, we have it on the phone. I obviously can't do both at the same time, so I'm not really sure how I'm expecting to be able to control both devices when the sale starts, but I thought it'd be good to have a backup, just in case, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying my best, okay? Um, no, I think I've just got a Dell tickets. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No flipping way. Please, 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 why are you taking so long to load? I've literally just clicked pay and it's just taking forever to load. Oh, my mum just sent me a photo and I thought it was a notification saying like my email confirmation. Oh my God, please hurry up. Saying don't refresh the page, but why is it still doing this? It's been doing this for like three or four minutes by now. If I've managed to get this close to Adele tickets to the point I've got them in my basket and I've clicked pay now, and it's just my payment that's not processing that stops me from getting them. I am going to be fuming. Oh my God, I got them. I got them, I got them, I got them. Oh my God, I got them. I've got tickets to go and see Adele. Oh my God. So the first lot was in the queue for ages. Um, and then it went through and there was loads of tickets. So I selected them. It was like, oh, these seats won't be together. So I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. Went back, chose a different option of ticket, picked those tickets. They were gonna be, I had to do a conversion. Wait, how much were they gonna be? They were gonna be 459 euros, which is 391 pounds. So like just under 200 pounds per ticket. But I was like, that's the kind of price you have to pay to see Adele. I was kind of thinking I need to pay for flights and accommodation on top of that. But like, I really wanna go see Adele. Anyway, I tried to use PayPal to pay for it. Um, and the payment just wasn't processing. And then it took five minutes and then it canceled and said, um, like your tickets aren't reserved anymore because it took too long. So I went back had to try and pick more tickets, found other tickets that were actually cheaper. These ones were only 239 euros for both of them. And I used Apple Pay and I've got them. And it's for a Saturday as well, because I was like, I don't care what day of the week I get. Um, I just want to go see Adele. Like, obviously it doesn't matter for me, but for Josh, if he's going to come with me, we could just fly on the Saturday morning and he wouldn't need to take any time off work. And I've just managed to get them. I actually can't believe that. It's 9.43. I've been waiting for 43 minutes to get these tickets. And I've just got them. Have I got my confirmation email yet? No. Oh no. Why have I not got a confirmation email yet? I've got a, I don't have a confirmation email yet, but I do have a screenshot of my, um, of my order number. Confirmation email has come through. We're going to Munich, baby. I don't even know if Josh wants to come with me. Like, I didn't want to have to go through the faff of like asking multiple people, like, if I got tickets to see Adele, would you want to come with me? I don't know what date it's going to be, but we need to fly to Munich and get a hotel and stuff. I can't be after that. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, Josh hasn't replied, but the confirmation email has come through. And I'm so glad the first lot of tickets didn't work out because I ended up getting tickets even cheaper. Do you know what I mean? So that was actually a real blessing. Right, I'm gonna get dressed and take Luna for a walk, calm myself down a little bit, so I don't drive you mad. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> I don't even know where Munich is. Like I know it's in the Netherlands and that's only because it was www.ticketmaster.de, which means Dutch. Otherwise, I could not tell you where Munich is, which sounds really stupid, but give me any recommendations from Munich, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going for a weekend away. Not me confidently just standing there saying that Munich is in the Netherlands. It is not. Munich is in Germany. I think I knew that. I think I just got thrown off by the um, .de, like on the web browser thing, which made me think that it was in the Netherlands. You were probably watching that thinking, oh my God, like this girl is so stupid. I just searched in Munich because I'm just going to have a quick look at um, like hotels and flights and stuff because I've suddenly thought like probably do need to get the hotels booked soon because they're probably going to like boost the prices up. And now that people have got like their tickets and stuff, the price of the hotels are probably going to be more expensive. So obviously I need to um, get that stuff sorted out. <laughs> and I typed in Munich and it was like Munich, Germany. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, Munich so totally is in Germany. Anyway, I am going to stop rambling about Adele now because I don't want to get repetitive. Um, 
but yeah i'm gonna sort that out do a little bit of editing i feel like i've been editing all week but that is literally what i've been doing so yes oh and of course i'm gonna drink my kefir i've just seen this on my instagram it's international croissant day and i'm not taking part in it and i feel really bad because this is a day that I can really get on board with. This should be a national holiday for me. National Croissant Day and I'm not taking part in it. I was a day too early and I'm slightly disappointed in myself. Alexa, play Adele on Spotify. Settle down. Again. Alexa, volume 10. My dreams came true. I hate to turn up out of the blue. So apparently Ryanair don't fly to Munich from what I've first seen and EasyJet do not fly on a Saturday. So my plan of flying on the Saturday morning, staying a night and then flying back on the Sunday morning isn't going to work. So we've got to fly on a Friday, which is typically the most expensive day to fly that month. In fact, I think it's the most expensive day to fly out of pretty much every date. Why? Of course in August they don't fly on Saturdays, but for some reason September, October and November they do. Make that make sense. So now I think I'm going to Munich for two nights and not just one night. And that might mean that Josh can't come with me because unless he has to take the day off work, so. <sighs> Good, I'm so glad that those flights are more expensive than I thought. Cause you know, sometimes you can get like 50 pound flights. I was thinking something along those lines. But no, it's going to cost £150 to fly to Munich. Thank you, Adele. Why could you not play in London? I mean, it's worth it, but I'm going to pay it. I was actually at one point considering flying to Vegas to go and see her when she had her Vegas residency. Like, I was that desperate to go and see her, but I don't really have that kind of money. Can you get the Eurostar to Munich? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I should have looked at this before I got the tickets, but I didn't think I was going to get the tickets, so I didn't think it'd be worth it. Oh my God, can you? Oh no, you can't. You cannot. It takes an average of 11 hours to get to Munich by train, so we won't be doing that. Let me just double check on Skyscanner. Alexa, play. Okay, I might have managed to sort it. If we fly with Luthanasia Airlines, you can actually fly on a Saturday. It was only that I was looking at EasyJet and Ryanair. Anyway, I need to sort this out and no one really cares because I've banged on about Adele now. I think I might have managed to work it. My lunch today is gonna be a very random one, but it's something I have wanted to try since I was probably about 14 years old and I'm finally gonna do it. And I'm gonna make spaghetti tacos. If you've ever seen iCarly, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't, you're gonna think this is the weirdest thing ever. But we've got some tacos and some mints left over from dinner the other night so i just feel like it's only right to make that for my lunch today so i'm gonna make like a quick kind of like spaghetti bolognese ish bit more of a basic version for my lunch and put it in tacos i don't know what it's gonna taste like and i don't know if it's gonna be nice but it's been something i've been wanting to try for years so we're finally gonna get that done today today is the day i'm gonna try the iCarly spaghetti tacos and we'll see if they're actually edible slash nice slash would 10 out of 10 would i recommend to a friend or not I've just made one taco to start with in case I don't like it. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure on iCarly they had meatballs rather than mince, but we didn't have meatballs and I've only just thought that I could make the mince into meatballs. So I feel like it's gonna fall apart because it's gonna be soggy. I did accidentally toast it a little bit too long in the air fryer, but I don't know how to eat this either. I mean, it kind of works, like I don't hate it. I would definitely eat it, but like, would I make it again? Probably not. I think I'd just have spaghetti bolognese one night and tacos another night, but it's not offensive. It's not disgusting, it actually does work quite well. Although it has just combined two of the most difficult things in the world to eat, being crispy tacos and long like spaghetti pasta. Okie dokie. Adele may not be happening anymore um, because I don't know if I've got anyone to go with me. So I might have to try and sell my tickets, which is not ideal. Obviously you saw how excited I was this morning, but I'm not going to Munich on my own. Like it's not happening. So if I don't have anyone to go with me, then I just can't go basically. But anyway, that is life. But yes, anyway, um, I've got my cute little White Fox Love Club um, jumper on because this afternoon I thought I could watch the Valentine's Day film, which if you haven't seen it, it's such a good film. It's like a chick flick. Um, they used to have it on Amazon Prime. I don't know if they still do, um, but I know that Josh's family have got it on DVD, which is part of the reason why I'm watching it today ahead of Valentine's Day next week. I just thought it'd be really cute. And then I also thought I can make like a little candy salad thing that I keep seeing on TikTok. So I brought my little heart bowl over and then I bought a bunch of sweets, which, oh, they're over here, that I thought I could put in it. So I've got some candy kittens eaten mess. I've also got a couple over here, bear with. And then I've got candy kittens wild strawberry, Haribo giant shrubs. Those I just all like conveniently had anyway. And then, um, I decided I had to go all out. Like I probably could have just done with those, but 
I saw these online. These were actually only like one pound for each bag, which I thought was a bargain. So I ordered some pink hearts, like the little chocolate jazzy things, which I love. These are delicious. I got some cherry lips, which to be honest, look nothing like lips. They're just like a little present shape. So not really giving, I thought they'd be like, you know, like the teeth and lips sweets you get. I thought they'd be like that, but they look nothing like that. But anyway, and then I got these. I love these as well. Strawberry twist kisses. These little like gumdrop things. And then I also just got some fizzy strawberry laces. And they were literally a pound for like each pack, which I thought was so good. So I'm gonna like, um, I'm gonna film a TikTok on it. But basically what people do is they just like pour all the sweets together and then like mix them together. And it's basically pick and mix, but they call it a candy salad. I don't really know why. So I'm gonna make that now. And then I'm gonna go in on the sofa and eat this and watch Valentine's Day. Oh, I do also have a cream soda left. So I think I might have that because it's kind of, um, like Valentine's Day themed and I do also love myself cream soda. So that is this afternoon's plans. This is the finished candy salad. This is a film that I'm watching. It's actually got a really good cast in it. Jessica Alba, Patrick Dempsey. It's got Taylor Swift in it and Taylor Lautner. It's got Anne Hathaway. Is that Anne Hathaway? I feel like that is Anne Hathaway. Maybe that's not. Have I just said that wrong? I don't know. It's basically got like a massively good cast and it's actually really good, but I feel like not many people talk about it. And then this is the finished candy salad, which I'm so excited about. It looks so cute as well. Like it's all pink and Valentine's Day. The only thing is I really don't like these cherry lips. I've not tried them, but one, that doesn't look like lips. And also two, they smell like toilet cleaner. So I only put a couple of them in because I pulled them in and then I smelt them and then realized so I stopped. But these I literally love. These are so good. Ignore my dodgy fake tan. I can't do anything about it right now because I don't um, have my exfoliating gloves with me. And I also love these. I don't know what it is about picking mixed chocolate. I know some people hate it, but I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna sit and eat this now and watch. I need to try and work out how to put um, the film on the TV. I've done it before, but that's when Josh was here. So I need to try and work this out and then I can watch this and eat this and I literally cannot wait. I've contacted Ticketmaster. They said that although resale isn't available at the moment for my tickets, it will be available at some point. So I'm not too fast when I thought. Obviously I'd love to go and see Adele. I was so excited, but I didn't actually realize how expensive it was gonna be like until after I got the tickets and looked at the flights and everything. It's just so annoying that she's not like playing in the UK because it would literally be like 400, 500 pound to go and see her. So I think I might just have to sell the tickets unless I can find someone to come with me um which i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that because the two main people i thought would come can't um come so i think i might just have to sell them but as long as i can get my money back i'm not too fast and to be honest like if i don't get my money back i've lost 200 pound which is a, like obviously annoying but like there's no point getting annoyed about it there's no point getting upset about it these things happen in life but yeah anyway i've managed to get the dvd player to work i'm just waiting for the trailers to finish because i don't um i don't think the batteries um the remote's got batteries in it so i can only um work the dvd player from the dvd player box and i don't know how to skip the trailer so i'm just gonna i just want to talk to you whilst i'm waiting i'm so excited for this other than these bloody cherry things they absolutely stink um but yeah i thought i'd give you an update on the adele situation i mean i didn't even know where munich was this morning so i'm actually having to pick out all those cherry lip things because they stink and they're making the rest of the sweets taste like them i think they're like floral gems they literally smell like soap. Like they honestly smell like soap. And I don't know if some people like that, but I definitely don't. And it's really ruining the rest of it. So I'm getting rid of them. There she is, Miss Taylor Swift. Um, also, I'm literally obsessed with this moment. It's Connections by New York Times, which are the people that did Wordle, but I literally love this. I do it every single day. You have to try and like, um, so for example, I don't think this is the connection for this one, but SpongeBob SquarePants. And then you like have to find a connection between four different words. So for example, there's like squid and crab. I don't know if there's any other ones, but like sometimes the connection is really obvious and sometimes it's not. And I literally don't know what it is about it, but I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to stop rounding about it now though, because um, obviously this is playing in the background. I can't be bothered to get up and pause it. And that's probably really annoying that you can hear that in the background. But if you've never played this, I would recommend giving it a go because it is actually so fun. You don't need to download the app or anything. You just go online and I'm literally obsessed with it. Like I'm so addicted to it at the moment. I wish they did more than one a day. Because when I finish it, I get really sad and I want to do it all over again. I've done it. I literally did that in about one minute. Um, it was shapes. It wasn't actually SpongeBob. It was clever that they did that. And then I don't know what this one is. Free that pants feast. I don't know what that connection is going to be. Fancy. Fancy feast. Fancy free. Fancy free? That doesn't make sense. Some of them I'm like, I don't understand that. But I managed to get the other three. So that made it really easy. And I thought this one, Bob cross hook and weave. For some reason, I thought that was hairstyles. But I got it anyway. So your girl's happy. Hello everybody. Um, just finishing the cream soda. I promise I haven't eaten all these sweets. I've put some of them back in the packaging. I promise I have not eaten that whole bowl. But anyway, I just wanted to outro this vlog here. Thank you all for spending the week with me. I haven't finished editing it yet, but it's been quite a long one. Thanks for watching the weekly vlog. I'll see you next week. Bye.